so it has come to this the last ever episode of the one ring and of new game who dis that's right oh, i didn't even God. think of that this is it <laughs> that's such a downer <laughs> it is a downer it started off on a sad <laughs> note <laughs> Uh, it is very sad. We've discovered some really cool games. We've uh, met some really cool new friends, some mm -hmm. of whom are represented here. Uh, it is also the most stressful format of anything that's ever been devised by the mind of man. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't let the door hit you on the backside on the way out, New Game <laughs> this. <laughs> no, but this is in. Yes. Yeah, did you know? Um, Skid, you've been in 13 games of New Game Who Dis out of 16 games. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. wow. No wonder it's the most stressful product. <laughs> I guess that would have been put out for you. <laughs> you are the king of New Game Who Dis. You've, you've been I in guess. The most. I, wow. No, man. not guess. You are. I, oh, well, my record may <laughs> never be broken. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's only because it's like running these games. And Joe, you know, and can attest to this. And, and Grant, too. It's just like uh, having a whole new system, basically running it live as a show with other people that have also probably never played it uh, is, is not, it's yeah. not easy. And in many yeah. cases, never played with each other. Yes, that's, that's so, true. It's, yeah. So it's, you know, it's, it's the typical being at a convention, sitting down to try a random RPG thing. It's a real hit or miss proposition. But I yes. definitely think... We hit more than we missed because we have wonderful cast members that like made it work. You know, they didn't like push back against people they didn't know. They were just like welcoming and awesome. And uh, overall, yeah. it, was, it was great. But yeah, stressful for GMs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we were lucky to, to find uh, Kate and Alicia for sure. Uh, you guys, you, you all have been amazing. And thank you again for, for doing this. Uh, this was, uh, this has been really, really fun for me. I'm glad we're, we're ending on this one. This is obviously very meaningful and, uh, from where I'm sitting. So thank you all for coming with me. Uh, if there were a chance, say in the future where we were to do this game again, it could happen. I don't know. I don't know the future. No one can see the future. <laughs> If you were, <laughs> I have an actual nerd question. Okay, can Gandalf see the future or any elements or wisps of it? Is that ever a thing? Uh, no. I think, I think Gandalf really just has that kind of perceptive mind where he can sort of see patterns. I guess. Mm -hmm. it's I like don't a think wisdom. Like it isn't an actual magical foresight. Yeah, he doesn't he doesn't have any prophetic powers. I mean, there are examples of prophecy in Lord of the Rings. And actually Glorfindel is one of them we talked about last week. He made the prophecy that a mortal man could never slay the Witch King of Angmar. So, uh there 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 is some some elements of prophecy, but yeah, Gandalf like telling the future like I don't think so. I think he could just kind of see multiple ends play. Kind of like a a little bit like Paul Atreides, but like not even not even like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, sorry to get sidetracked there. Yeah, uh, my apologies. <laughs> I didn't know if you okay. knew some deep Gandalf lore that <laughs> I, I didn't know. I don't. I know he, he's uh, he's cool. <laughs> so if you all, each of you were to play, make your own character to play in a little bit longer form of a full game of The One Ring longer than this one we're using the full, full rule set what sort of character do you think you might want to make let's start with grant Ooh. oh boy uh i think uh <laughs> i barely saw that question come in beforehand so i'm gonna try and go off of my gut right now which is well i'm torn between two callings which i like a lot um i'll just choose one because i don't want to step on someone else's i love the idea of being a messenger and I love the idea mm -hmm. of being uh, an out of breath dwarf just running across the entire <laughs> continent, just being like, there's trouble around the corner. Get back, get ready. <laughs> just wrap up all your armies and whatnot. And uh, that just is very pleasing to me. Um, so, and I love that that could get me to find like other people who might at the beginning of the quest, depending on when the timeline is placed, might seem like conspiracy nuts or something like that, but they turn out to be correct. We need to, to, to mass our armies and, and defend against a new threat so yeah yeah that's what's interesting okay. to me 
I like that. Mm. I hope that's a character class. <laughs> Out of breath dwarf <laughs> class. Uh, Winded dwarf. <laughs> Winded dwarf. <laughs> Winded dwarf mailman. Uh, what, what about Kate? Kate, do you, uh, with your extensive experience with Lord of the Rings that you've crammed into a span of a week, uh, what uh, do you have any ideas that you of what you would like to play? At first, I was like, I definitely want to play an elf that can just like kick ass because there are so many kick ass elves mm -hmm. in the movies. Mm -hmm. But then I remembered um, when I was in the comics, just like many things in life, I was into one comic. And it was rat queens. <laughs> and um, oh. I would want to make a dwarf who was just like Violet with a beard. Because if you go to, <laughs> what is it? Uh, number eight of rat queens. First page. Ooh. Violet. Oh. oh with wow. With a beard. Stop. And I was wow. like, yeah. like one of my wa like secret, not so secret wants in life is to be able to grow up like a beard. <laughs> um <laughs> So I would be a dwarf lady with a beard and she would be a champion. Awesome. Wow. Wow. Trailing behind the other breathless dwarf. That would be incredible. <laughs> yes. I love that. Man, that would be fun. I've never, I, honestly, I don't think I've, I think I've only ever played with one female dwarf character, Pima Shale Slider. I think ever. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Like, yeah. just by, not by a player. By a player character, there was um, Ingrahild that predated. Oh, uh, yeah. Pella, that's yeah. That's true. That was yeah. played by Jess Troy. So yeah, that was an NPC. Uh, but yeah, they're almost in rare as rare in in gaming it seems as they are in Tolkien's fiction. It's because they all have beards, and you think that they're men. Yes, some of think that they Ooh, are dwarf. There I are like no dwarf idea. women. That we spring out from holes in the ground. <laughs> holes in the ground. <laughs> which is, of course, ridiculous. All right. I love that idea. That's awesome. Alicia, That's what would you want to be? You have so many costumes. I'm sure you could you could find something suitable. But what, what sort of character yeah. do you think you'd like to play? You know what? Like Kate, I first thought I wanted to be an elf specifically because of the cosplay opportunities that come oh, out yeah. of being an elf. Oh, like elves, yeah. elves in general are just super ridiculous beings, like over the top. They have like the hair, the ears, they have the, the whole countenance. So I originally <laughs> <laughs> countenance. <laughs> I'm getting into character. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Um, but then I started thinking I want to be a dwarf just because they're so storied and like mm. dwarves are like in every fantasy book, everything, anywhere. Um, I recently played a dwarf in a campaign and she had like, I like to mess with spells and stuff. And she had a spell mm -hmm. where this magical like fist came out of the ground and it looked like the infinity gauntlet, but they would backhand everybody. So it was <laughs> awesome. Was it big bees? Was it a, was it a big bees uh, fist spell? <laughs> It was a big, like, yes, spiritual weapon. But, like, I loved it because she was able to tie it into the fact that in, like, Marvel, like, Infinity War, like, the dwarves mm -hmm. made the Infinity made the infinity Gauntlet and then, like, Thanos wiped them out. So she got to be like, you laugh at me, but if you look at it, if you do your research, you'll see my people made that original Gauntlet. This Gauntlet is, like, an honor of my people who fell for that, you know what I mean? So yeah. I Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so a dwarf, maybe. Or lastly, like some sort of a wicked witch who lives like in a little house by herself. <laughs> wow. Oh, or okay. like in the woods. Like, you know, in like yeah, the Merkwood. Like she's like, get off my lawn like a, type kid or something like that. Wow. Yeah, yeah like, like, like the hobbits a, are all scared of her. <laughs> yeah. Like a wood yeah, wolf yeah, like or something. Thing. Yeah, I did a lot of thinking. So anyway, That's yeah, those really are my cool. three. Okay. All right. Wow. Lots of work with there. Uh, <laughs> Ellie, uh, boy, we, were, we were all marveling at your costume, by the way. <laughs> Just crushing it tonight, this, Ellie. As well, uh, Andy Circus okay. in full mocap. Uh, yeah. 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 Andy Circus on set. I freaked out and I look like either, okay, three things, mocap, but I went this golem and I look like a condom. <laughs> wow oh. yeah i didn't think of that one but you kind of do yeah for those oh. just listening to the podcast you're missing out you really should check out the youtube yeah 
the YouTube. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, all right. So I've had some time to think about this, and I, um, well, so I want to play like a little bit more of the serious side of Lord of the Rings because uh, because it's so such a dark, cool story. Um, and I, I had this idea of a female Hobbit before we played. I knew that this starter adventure would be about hobbits, um, but like basically uh, taken out of the Shire and mm-hmm. not have this sort of traditional hobbit story uh, and be more like a treasure hunter uh, and and base and I would base her or his characterization on uh, Calamity Jane from Deadwood. Oh yeah, uh, you like told the, me that. The, yeah, I love uh, that idea. Of, like, That's so like, cool. Like, inebriated all the time and also like foul mouth and, and like but then have a very a lot of heart and be yeah. like um you know one of the first things she says is like you fu- oh actually i can't say that it's a c word but um <laughs> you watch the, watch the, yeah watch deadwood watch, and you'll, you'll watch, get the yeah. idea but, um yeah. <laughs> i'll be like beep that's what i would say and it would be great right. um, and, but then i i play them Mm. I played the alpha with uh, with another group of of guys earlier this fall, mm. and Tom, who is a fan of the fan of Glass Cannon, his name is PJ Love Sauce. If you guys know who that is, oh yeah, um, great, guy. great he, dude. He had an amazing character concept, also a messenger that I thought was so cool because he based it off of um, you know the whispers in the prologue of the first movie, uh, mm. Fellowship. Oh, yes! Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like the whispers, whispers like that's the, the messengers the running around on the continent oh, of being like, cool. <laughs> you know? And I thought yeah. that was such a cool concept of like one of these high regarded messengers just sh- like getting this rumors spread out of what's happening because time travels, the time is so different as well in the in the... In the universe, um, of like they 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 don't know what happened to certain things. Of like, yeah, we're gonna go mm. to Moria and hang out with our Balin and see what happened there. And then Gimli doesn't even know. It's like, yeah, they went there sixty years ago. I'm sure they're yeah. fine. That, nobody's heard from them. Exactly. Everything. It's weird that fine. we didn't we didn't get any messengers since then. I'm sure they're fine. And then they show up, and it's like this is not a mine. This is a tomb. Yeah, and right. uh, <laughs> it, you know, so. But yeah, I think I would go for a female hobbit. Uh, okay. In, like, in, in the anti traditional sense. That's really cool. Yeah, I, I remember you telling me the Calamity Jane thing, and I love that. <laughs> Could so get cool. us in trouble, but it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> potentially. What about Joe? Oh, Joe O'Brien. What, what, what uh, character in Deadwood would your uh, elf be based on? <laughs> Um, wow. I, okay, so no elves. I really thought someone would take elf or humans. That, I know, I know. Uh, well, I'll tell you what my first inst- instinct was when I thought we were making characters for this game. I didn't realize that it was going to be pre-generated, and we were playing lore, ca- lore characters and all that stuff. Uh, it's very front door, but I just if I'm going to play Lord of the Rings, I want to play kind of front door, and to me that means uh, a man, uh, a, a man of the West, and. Hmm. Uh, the idea that I had in mind is described perfectly by the system with the calling of captain. And that's kind of exactly what I wanted to do. It, it's it's sort of, it's Boromir, but like much lower scale and a little grittier. So like basically very, like recently up jumped to captain due to like the death of his captain kind of thing with, yeah. uh, you know, and he's sort of overseeing uh, three people or something, you know what I mean? Like a very right. small crew <laughs> on the outskirts of Rohan or something like that, just like guarding the wilds. So like a but Gondor, like a, like a ranger of Athelion or something, but sort like of a Gondorian, I, like from yeah, Gondor. Yeah, like a Gondorian. Um, but uh, oh, I liked the Rohan idea too because of the horses. I love horses, but I just. Yeah. I definitely didn't want to do like a ranger of the north. I didn't want to do a solo ranger. Like I wanted like a yeah. soldier who's like you know, been through it. I, cause I, to me, my, one of my favorite things about Lord of the Rings is I like the weakness of men and the struggle mm. against the shadow that to yeah. me is so wonderful. And it's really brought out in this game. Yes. The, 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 yeah. the, the, your draw to the shadow is a mechanic we have not really played with in the, in the uh, starter set, you know, but it's like, it's a part of it. And I would yeah. love to play that with, with a man. I think it would be really cool. Oh. Yeah. It can be like, you can get shadow points from like experiencing tragedy yeah. or, or from, from encountering treasure. Uh, like the, like greed, you can be overcome by greed and, 
accrue dark points like that way. And uh, yeah, it's re- it's really, this is the kind of thing that I would love to get into. Hopefully one day uh, we're able to do some more of this. We'll see. But uh, I would certainly be interested. That would be um, wonderful. Mm-hmm. And let me cut you off, Skid. If you yes. would like to play this, why don't we give you some free copies of the game? Courtesy of Free League once again, because they're the best. Through four episodes, they have uh, been so generous with the giveaways and nothing's stopping us tonight. So we are going to give away an- another hard copy of the core rulebook, Shipping Quarter 1 2022. And that person will also get digital copies of everything as well for, to hold them over, uh, tie them over until the hard copy comes in the mail. But three additional winners to that will also get the full digital package of the core rulebook and the starter box. Uh, and all that comes with that starter box, which is trimmed down rules, all the pregens we're playing, the maps of the Shire, a whole book on the Shire, a whole book on Rivendell, a whole book on uh, there's another location too. each of those books is 20 or 30 pages. So, yeah, it's a really incredible starter box. And uh, we're going to give them away tonight in chat. So go in chat and uh, we'll drop a link to the giveaway. Click on that link and you can enter to win. We'll announce the winners in chat later tonight. Awesome. Good luck to everybody. And once again, uh, we are talking about Lord of the Rings on my movie podcast, Franchise Fan Guys. Ellie was a guest on our first episode on our, on our Fellowship of the Ring. She was amazing. It was We had so much fun talking about that stuff. Uh, oh. So check that out, too. And, that was uh, recorded like so, like so long. Like I don't even remember what like I said. Like two years ago. Did I say the C word then? No, but you might have. I, I would lay money on it, but it's still, <laughs> but it's still really good. And uh, so, yeah, go 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 check those out, franchise fan guys. Uh, okay, check cool. us out. Uh, so, but also, you're probably curious where you guys are now. Mm-hmm. Well, guess what? You're in jail. Oh no! What? Wow. You all, what do you do? Wait, really? You all? Yes. <laughs> You Grant, were. what? Okay. Grant Something just pulled out a severed happened. hand. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. I guess describing <laughs> why we're in jail. Oh, I, well, okay. Nailed it, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but also then threw it away as if it's like, well, won't be needing this. <laughs> you were in jail for the murder of Odo Proudfoot, the severed his hand. Oh, wow. You're in jail because you stole a map from the Matham House and you were found out. You were turned oh, in. No. You don't know by whom. It was Bill's oh, Bailia in jail. Oh, wait. She yes. was. <laughs> anyway, I just didn't play her at that point. Well, the- <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yes. This is intolerable to you. Uh, you are underneath the town hall in Michael De- in Mikkel. God, I'm so used to saying Michael. In Mikkel mm-hmm. Delving. After being confronted by a group of bounders and charged with claims of theft and disturbing the peace and ongoing rowdiness, compounding the crime. A lot of you have been detained in the storage tunnels beneath the town hole until Mayor Potts can decide what to do with you. Now, obviously, there are worse things in Middle Earth than being locked in a storage cellar beneath the town hole, but it is an uncomfortable place. A heavy wooden door barred from the other side blocks you from freedom and the occasional bounder coming by and other than the occasional bounder coming by, no one is so much as thought to send a cake to munch on for hours. When Bilbo finds out about this, they'll regret their actions. He will find out, right? So, yeah, you've all been down here for a few hours and there is like one sort of like old crusty loaf of bread and barrel after barrel of beer. Uh, oh. Tuck Burl Pale Ale. And that's it. And you may be eyeing each other over this bread. You probably are very getting very hungry at this point. What are you, uh, what are you thinking of doing? Uh, don't we also have to meet new characters? Oh, yes, are, you do. Yeah, <laughs> so we're all, we're all in here right now, right? In one cell? Yes, yes. So you, Bilbo is not among you, and Balin uh, is, you don't know where Balin is, and we have two new characters, or two players playing characters that are new. Uh, we'll want the, the uh, Kate, who are you playing? I'm playing Lobelia. Lobelia. Okay. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, who's new? I'm new. All right, oh, Alicia. Oh. Alicia. 
No. Oh, right. Okay. Alicia, who are you playing? I'm playing a close relative of Paladin Tuck, Esmeralda Tuck. She's a tween, which means she's in between her teens and her 20s. Well, she's she's in her twenties. She's in her twenties. Yeah, okay. but has not That's quite gotten her. to the maturity of of her older brother Paladin. So, <laughs> oh, you're my brother. Okay, yeah, good to yes. know. Okay, I think Paladin's <laughs> yeah, actually your younger <laughs> brother. <laughs> yes, <laughs> my sister's losing it. I think she needs the bread. <laughs> Stop me. <laughs> <laughs> so Esmeralda, this is the first time we're meeting you, and you were kind of swept up in the the arrest. Yeah, when, uh, you you came down to visit your brother, let's say, and uh, you were just all kind of rousted from your beds. And as uh, uh, over your protestations, they still threw you into the locker. Yeah, I imagine getting drug away, and uh, Paul is just like she had nothing to do with it. She didn't do anything. <laughs> she literally it's just wasn't me. here. Esmeralda wasn't mom. there. <laughs> Don't tell mom. So in addition to Esmeralda, whom we've never met, Ellie, who are you playing? Um, so I'm playing Primula Brandybook, and um, I was just drawn, dragged into this. I am to be wed with um, Drogo Baggins um, <laughs> in the spring. That's all I had been looking forward to. The wedding has, we've already started to plan the wedding. And, uh, and now I'm stuck here in this cell and I can't believe this happened just because I, well, I just wanted to talk to, talk to Drogo and Bilbo. I went to Bag, Bag End to talk to Bilbo and all of a sudden I find myself in jail. Prim, 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 you were there with us. Yes, you were, you were involved Primula. in the Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Sad. Your Sad. fingerprints were all over the place. No <laughs> is me talk, you were the it's leader. You. You should be here, and you alone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God. Oh, dear. I, I must have hit my head. Was I really there? Uh, <laughs> I you brought up the you... art of uh, Prim Brandybuck on Roll20, if you want to look. And if Grant, you can throw mm. it in there. Oh, just, yeah, can... it's perfect. It's Ellie's so great. voice like, is perfect. Yes. <laughs> um, well, so I'd like what? to say, after this recent conversation, uh, you asked what we would want to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, Paladin would like to be a jailhouse snitch and say that he finally heard Primula's confession personally. Uh, she's been denying it all along, but once the guards were gone, she said the honest truth. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, you know, it's the smart move. Uh, oh. I can't I can't say it's not. Uh, okay, so you guys are in there arguing about who actually committed the crime and or was present for it. And you hear a soft knock at the door. Yes, come in. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's uh, Odo Proudfoot. Uh, can I come in? Yes. Do you have any food with you? Snacks or anything? Uh, we're starving. Hey, we're starving no, in here. No food. And he, he opens the door. And he um, says, uh, hello. I hope you're uh, keeping well. We're in jail. We're it's well, been like two that, hours I mean, so far. It's been hours. Yes, I, uh, well, um, I think they're all right. I don't think they're dangerous. Uh, and Mayor Pot steps <gasps> in. The mayor okay. himself? Yes. <clears throat> Hello. Um, well, I, I don't normally deal with uh, many criminal elements in the course <laughs> of my duties, but... Uh, Oh, no, uh, I am compelled. I am compelled by the quick post. Uh, Odo, you've uh, has something he wishes to broach, uh, subject he wishes to broach with you. Uh, go ahead, Odo. And if you guys don't remember Odo Proudfoot in the movie, he oh. was the guy, it's just like when Bilbo at the party, it's just like a Proudfoot, mm-hmm. he's like, Proud feet! feet. And no. I didn't realize this, but he's also the guy when Gandalf like sets off the fireworks from the wagon for the kids. Yeah, he he's looks... the guy with the like frown that like starts laughing, and his yeah. wife like the, that's that's also Odo Proudfoot. I never knew that. So uh, Odo says uh, says, "Well, I, I, as you might know, I work for the Quick Post, and uh, well, I got a letter that needs delivering to Bam Furlong in the marish. Uh, I was uh, I've got no to send." And uh, I got the impression for the, it was a one of the big folk that like gave it to me. And uh, 
I got the impression that the message was quite urgent. And, uh, you know, there's so much traffic, like, on the main road. It's like dwarves mostly heading from there, or Blue Hills, like, back out to, you know, wherever they go. Uh, well, well, West Andes, they're trying to get home before the year, you know, gets out. This is, like, late summer now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the mayor sort of interjects. He says, yes, now you, uh, I have decided to sentence you to community service. And this, if you were to deliver this missive, uh, this would serve the community. What? Unless you'd rather stay here. No, no. 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 We're too young to get the electric chair. <laughs> <laughs> we're too young to die. Please, we'll do anything you need. Yes, All and right, I will stop get wailing. Soon. I need to get it's married. <laughs> Yes, okay. Primula, I'm, I'm <laughs> sure you'll make uh, some hobbits a very good wife of what have you. I'm not familiar with... Anyway, uh, <laughs> give him a letter, Odo. <laughs> and uh, Odo hands you the sealed letter. It's sealed with wax, um, but there's no seal on it. And um, he says, that, now you're going to have to take this to Bam Furlong. And uh, you're gonna have to take stay off the east road. There's too much traffic there, and take the stock road. So you'd be like south. Uh, you're gonna have to cut across the green hills and straight through Woody End. All right. All right. 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 And I'll show you on the map here. Uh, I'll hills. get roll twenty back over to the map. So you right now are in. Mickle delving mm. over here in the West Farthing. Oh, so, they, they're okay. too far away. Got it. Yeah. So he's saying to basically cross, cut across country to Whitwell. Okay. And Took Bank and Tuckboro, and then take the stock road over to. Oh, uh, hey, that's right by my house. You know exactly where we're going. Uh, well, that's, that's par for it. That works out then. So, and it's actually not on the map. Uh, uh, Bump furlough is not is not on the map here, but it's it's in the Marish. It's like just south of the Stockbrook and like northwest of Rushy. Uh, I see. Okay. And then you said we have to take the Stock Road, which is like yes. much smaller than the Eastern Road, and it cuts yes. through the woods. Yeah, <gasps> cuts through the green the green wood. Uh, all right. Hey. It's just like right. So, uh, any questions? <gasps> could you could you send can you send send a message to someone? Well, that's what you're doing. Wait, but could you... I'm not going to do your job for you. That's, no, that's your job. Exactly that's, pretty, that's exactly what I came down here to ask you to do. Can <laughs> <laughs> you ever go to the no, restaurant no. and say to the waiter, can I take your order? <laughs> Criminal is playing 4D chess right now. This is incredible. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was... Okay, well, I, I see what you mean. I, I will deliver your message, but in return, I was wondering if you could deliver a message for me. Right, well, when I get to it, like as I say, we're quite busy. Right, I know you're quite busy, but should my, hus my husband-to-be drop... That's why we're dealing with hardened criminals like oh. you. <gasps> you sir, please don't call me a criminal. <laughs> They've committed crimes, woman. What else are you? Did you hear that? And she goes into the corner, and you will never I, know what the message was. I'm sorry. I'm so. I don't. I'm so uh, proud feet. We're just not. Well, now you've talking done to, I'm sorry. Anyway, her, she's... are there any other questions? When are you going to release us from our shackles so that we can do this trip for you? You're not shackled, love. You're not shackled. Hey, <laughs> as well, like, stop don't, imagining don't shackles on your hands. You're fine. <laughs> what we could use, though. Is a meal. We need to eat before we hit the road, or the message will never get there. So, <clears throat> do you have a turkey or a chicken, perhaps? Uh, uh, well, I don't. Uh, and the mayor says, like, well, I. Um, I mean, we need the strength to take across the road. A roast chicken, uh, come on. Yeah, it's the least you could do. A pig. Well, I, a, a salad. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a pig. Stop crying immediately just to look up and say, A pig! Give us a pig! A pig. I'm just, bring, just bring a pig in here. <laughs> yeah, just bring, just bring a pig. Just bring a pig. It's like, uh, well, I, I, I was saving a bit of my luncheon for, uh, for dinner, but I suppose I could let you all split it. What is it? It's a pig. I was eating a whole pig. <laughs> I was eating a whole pig. Real small one. 
Oh. I just can't get her through the whole one. I used to be able to eat a whole pig in one sitting when I was a younger man, but I just can't do it anymore. Oh, it's very kind of you. We'll take you up on it. Thank you. But, thank you. But thank you. All right. Why can't we just take the main road? Why must we go through, you know, the fields and the trees I and all that? I don't trust the dwarves. It's like, we're not using the main roads. It's like, with all the dwarves about, they're just they're not trustworthy. Well, some of them are. No, not oh. a single one in my experience. So, uh, anyway, you get there faster. Uh, there's so much you're running into, you know, plus I heard about one of your uh, little exploits getting waylaid by a gang of dwarves, by the way, who got you inebriated. You lost an entire day. I heard all about it. We had oh. a lovely time. I'm sure you did. <laughs> but this isn't about, this isn't a walking holiday. This is a serious job that has to be done now is there anything okay. else that needs criminal. to happen after we deliver the message no, we deliver just it and deliver then just the leave? message and then once i get word that uh you've done what you've uh, been asked to do then i will set out uh I'll let the with the mayor will and i will let the uh, bounders know that they can leave you alone that's another problem it's like it's still gonna be difficult the bounders are all looking for you everywhere if they see you they're gonna assume you escaped so if you don't want to avoid the bounders you're gonna stay on the stock road uh, okay. I can't get word to them quick enough for you to avoid them. Can we know what the message is or what no, it says? It's sealed. It's sealed. Will you find out if we open it on the way there? <laughs> <laughs> is it like Jerry rigged with some sort of like ink or something? Like it's, uh, it's, is it like it stealing a, a top from the gap? <laughs> yes, like Alicia says. Will it? Yes. What well, is it? You see, it does have a wax seal. So okay. you you put there it. Well, but there's no like stamp in it. It's sealed with wax. But like, if you really wanted to, you could like, you know, cut through the wax, open the letter, read it, and remelt the wax again to make it look like it was never open. I'm just saying that Rory, might occur to you. Rory, do not get us in more trouble. Uh, you are my maid of honor, but the male version. Oh. No, I'd, I'd, lo I'd love to be your best man. I can't wait best for you to, yeah. to, to, to marry. Um, and it'll be a wonderful day indeed when I don't have to spend any more time with you. Oh, well, that was oh. a good oh. oh, no, 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 I'm so sorry. Oh, no. oh, no, I forgot how sensitive oh. my sister is. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, mess. Let me embrace you. Let me embrace you. And uh, Rory holds her a little too tight. Right. Oh, oh, that was the incest God. thing. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> now you get to clean up what I said. Please, no. Grant, do not give Ellie the keys to that box. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, right. all people. Uh, one, so, one more question. Yes. Um, one more question, sir. Yes. Will... Can you absolve our, um, what is you know it called? Your, uh... Do you know you're holding a spoon? <laughs> yeah, why are you yeah. <laughs> Didn't see what? that. The beauty was holding a soup spoon <laughs> all of a sudden. That, no. <laughs> can you, can you clear oh, our I, records? Oh, right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, Slipped my mind. Words. Can you clear our, our blog records be clean? Um, yes. Well, you're... Your sentences will uh, be assumed to have been served, and you will be free oh. to re-enter society. And no one will know we were ever criminals. Thank you. Well, people will talk. Thank you won't so they? much. All right. So let's go. Come on. Okay. And he claps as I get to move on. So he walks you up through the scene of the crime because these are under the Matham House. So like he, uh, he escorts you out, uh, out through the Matham House, and you're kind of like walking around, you're looking at. All this weird stuff. Uh, give me an awareness check. Okay. okay. Well, that's one feet die and then two. At eight. Okay. Awareness. awareness. Oh, that's it. And then they perfect. Oh. Okay. Hey, hey. Ooh. Oh, no. I don't think I, oh, no. I just missed it. That was oh, a no. lot of. I totally that was a lot failed. of ones. <laughs> I totally failed. I totally failed. Yeah. I got a 15 okay. under 16. Oh, oh no. I failed as well. Damn it. No, no one made it? It, it was two, one, one, one. Oh my gosh. Yep. I wow. rolled snake eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's wow. easy. It's a chosen, sk chosen skill for me, and I rolled 11 twice. 
on the feet oh, die. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, and I was curious God. about that. I wanted to ask you that last game. Is it possible to fail that any other way when it's when it's that kind of feat? When it's that kind of skill? And, it, and you do you have to roll 11 twice, basically, yes. on those? Wow. Uh, I mean, yeah, pretty much. It's it's still possible. I thought to fail, maybe but, rolling one yeah. eleven out of two would like make it auto fail because of the power. No, 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 you, no, 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 you no, ignore no. that one. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's uh. Yeah. That's really bad. <laughs> okay. So they escort. You're you're too you're too uh, shaken from your harrowing uh, stint in, in in the big house to notice anything out of the ordinary. So they they thrust you out the door. They put the letter in your hand and they say best of luck he says yes go carefully don't lose the letter and don't read it so you have about a four or five day trip ahead of you wow right, let's go as, as to get the took family walking sticks okay <laughs> and let's hit the stock road <laughs> okay. So, and he does like they also thrust some some uh, some pork, like a, a half of a pig carcass, into your hands. Uh, so you have some like a lunch between the the lot of you. So yeah, it's about a four or five day journey. Um, okay. We're gonna like kind of speed through a little bit of this because I'd love to finish this whole thing tonight. We'll see if we can get that far, but uh, but yeah. So on your first day. Um, you have a nice lunch and you travel through open green country um, until it's until the sun starts to go down and your stomachs start rumbling and yeah Not you again. have uh, you have no other food we have no pig left no the pig you you ate you all ate the we pig ate voraciously yeah. uh, for lunch oh, so have you've fun. already skipped dinner and now it's time for supper and yes your stomachs are rumbling so, I go up to Prim and I grab her and I'm like, your bow, kill us something. I must eat. I, I, well, all right. Well, okay. Um, do I have hunt? I don't, I'm not a hunter. Why are you talking to I me? Don't know. You you know. Know. Uh, She's crying again. <laughs> she has Prim. No, I can, I can try Lobelia. I, I can try. I, my, my father taught me how to set some traps now I, I don't have a bow and I can't do it that quickly but I could set a trap and then we might have to wait a couple hours and, and then check it again but we might be alright please I have no idea what he just said but I agree <laughs> with my brother okay so you can see Whitwell on in the distance the, the, the small town of Whitwell that's uh, south of Waymead so you have three options here uh, one thing bear in mind like you you were not your, your your cash was not returned to you, so you have no money. You have your equipment, mm. your your venturing equipment, but that's it. Just the venturing equipment and and the letter. So Lobelia. you can what? either. No, I was oh. just gonna say, perhaps you could do the thing you do, and perhaps we will have men give us some food or something. What are you talking about? <laughs> what thing that I do? You know, you know that thing that you do. <gasps> I don't know what you're sex. speaking of, but I'm spoken for. I don't <laughs> do what you think I do anymore. Labelia, oh, uh, uh, Primal is just talking about a fun tale we tell every every <laughs> every time the brandy bucks get together. We talk about you know, how um. What do you talk about? The brace girdle is sometimes a little bit easy to loosen. We hear. <laughs> it's indeed. It is indeed very. Very easy to loosen. I so I've heard from 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 the village. But Man, you guys' time in prison has hardened you. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm all out of hope Tough. after that prison stint. Okay. I'm a changed woman now. I met a man in a cave, and I'm never looking back. <laughs> of course, she met a man. He's a in the one cave. hobbit. Hobbit. The hobbit. So the text provides for three solutions. Uh, you can either explore the wilderness for wild fruit. You can make an explore roll for that. You oh, can. Oh, that's good. You can look around for a farmer's vegetable field somewhere. You can make a scan roll, but you take you will you lose lose one die off of your roll if you attempt to do that because it's such a large area. Yeah. Or you can try to sneak into town and steal food with a <gasps> stealth roll. 
Oh no! But we've That's already chosen the life of crime. We're gonna do it again. That's Our right. reputation is already tarnished. That's the only. Option. It's so I did not realize prim, Primula sucks. The only thing I do is stealth, and she's gonna be like, "Oh no, I can do me it." Well, I let me try first, please. I know how to. I could find some from fruit. I could find it. Some fruit. Let, so, me, let me explore the countryside. I One. know the I know the lands around here. I know where the berries are. Yes. One right. success by any one person will equal enough food for one person. Oh. If you get additional successes with rolling sixes, then you, you will get either a little bit of food for tomorrow or food for one other person tonight. Oh, oh boy. Rebellia will not be able to find food for herself, so she's going to just be a little brat and be like, I could I cannot anymore search through this field. See, she's doing it. She's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> that thing. She's doing the thing. She's doing I don't the know thing. What you're talking about? <laughs> uh, Palin is going to disappear off into the wild, looking okay. through you the didn't bushes disappear for because fruits. Can I follow him? Because she's always, you know, she's always like the little sister, like running after him. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, all right. Let's roll explore, Esmeralda. Come on. You got some explore, right? That would be a huge freaking no. I have nothing. I have no pips. I have no check, no nothing. All right, well, come with me and I'll show you. Okay. Uh, so he starts walking through and telling her about the video. Oh, don't eat that one. You know, it's poisonous. And, oh, that one's, uh, okay. that one's all right there. Grab a few of those. Uh, okay. Oh, God. Let's just hope that the Eye of Sauron like is not that? on this <laughs> berry hunt. <laughs> Uh, I am spending a point of inspiration and uh, together with okay. my, uh, or as a point of hope. Hope. And okay. I can get inspiration with my explorer's pack. So I will. Oh, no. That uh, that gives you that gives you an additional die. Uh, took us to the Wayfair bundle, gives you an additional die. Uh, your feature, if you have an, a, a feature that applies, that would give you inspiration. A feature that applies? Yeah. If like one of your distinctive oh, features. Oh, yeah. I see. All right. All right. You went, Skid. Um, all right, well, I'll still spend the point of hope. Okay. Uh, here we go. Try to get a few more successes. Oh. Nice. Oh. I rolled Gandalf rune. Oh. oh. Plus a six. So, okay. uh, so that's, oh, that's goody, goody. two successes. Uh, and I cr- absolutely crushed the, the wits score. So, I, you know. Awesome. Yeah. Great. So, you know. Okay. You know how it is. So you stumble Crushing across uh, this wonderful little kind of patch of wild raspberries. <gasps> right there. And raspberries. you gather them up. You and there's up enough for you and your sister. Yeah. Right. Oh. Oh. Okay. There's no more. <laughs> oh, yeah. No all more. of a sudden, they fast forward like 10 minutes, like, <sighs> like exactly. red all around their mouth. <laughs> like, <laughs> we, ate, we ate all of them? Hide it. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, all right. So the Tooks are all right. What's everybody else going to do? <laughs> I could I, I could sneak into town. Okay. Um, oh. That is the one thing. But but will you think less of me if I do? I mean, we are desperate. I couldn't possibly think any less of you, Prim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Zing. <laughs> I oh, well. All right. I will steal food for me and my brother, and we'll see if there's anything left for you. Okay, now I will say that doing committing a crime like this, you will lose a point of hope for doing this. <gasps> oh. Serious? It's like huh. you think about your future with Drogo and it's like getting farther away because yeah. you're, he doesn't want to marry a criminal. Oh, okay, so she's gonna, she's gonna uh, move closer to uh, Lobelia and be like, if you tell anyone anything about this i'm gonna cut you up and then she <laughs> i don't talk about she's got a prison shiv to go <laughs> prison shiv ready to go and then she will uh i'll try to sneak into town then does anyone want to come with me I, I, i'll come with you i mean we should be siblings in crime after all don't you think yes but don't touch me this time and, uh, um, so. oh <laughs> How fickle you you are with your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, stop. <laughs> there has been one epic romance scene on this network, and it was Grant and Ellie, and it was <laughs> years yes. ago, and it made yeah. us very uncomfortable. It did. <laughs> it was very warm in that studio. Uh, anyway. <laughs> 
And there's nothing so morally wrong with it. Yeah, no, that one exactly. That one was fine. That one was yeah. um, that one was G-rated. Yeah. Uh, let's go into town. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> let's let's uh, let's let's try and rob a sexy cake shop. <laughs> Very sexy. Very sexy. Uh, okay. I'll try. I'll roll a stealth, and All I'll, right, give I'll me that spend stealth another roll. hope. I'll spend another hope. Then okay, I'm down. that's two points, and you lose. Although you're you're new here, so this this is not yeah. not not too bad. Okay. Ooh, crushed it. Um, but no sixes. Okay, so you steal you off so the half of a pie is cooling on someone's windowsill. And you, with the, your face flushed with shame, you you yank it off and run off into the into the fields, and you've eaten it by the time you return to your companions. And you lose Uh-oh. two points of hope. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else have any plans for for the oh, evening? Roy will steal, and he'll use to explain the fact he it's a it's a chosen skill, and he has three pips in it. He's just gonna yell, "Thief!" Get her! To cause a distraction <laughs> to improve his chances of sleeping. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Wow. Classy. 19 over 13. Wow. Nice. Okay. Any sixes? No sixes. Sadly, I wanted to help okay. provide for Lobelia, but I couldn't. Okay. You find the other half of the pie. It was a, it was a soon to be divorced couple. And they each, when the pie was done, they each took one half and took it to separate sills in their house to cool it. Does a, so does you got a the second half come up pie. behind me and steal a portion of it as well? Because that typically yes. happens in a divorce he, on either half. He wants his percentage, but uh, you run off before he can claim it. Okay, so who who left without eating? Who's got who's not eating? Let me leave after you. Well, okay. what was the scan roll again that you could make? Oh, you can do a scan to see if you can spot like a stray, uh, like, uh, uh, like a rat, a, a vegetable. A stra- oh. No, actually, <laughs> right. that's one thing you can't do in this part of the Shire is really hunt because there's nothing that everything's too anything you would be able to catch is too scrawny to be able to feed you. Mm. So yeah, you could you can find like a, a a stray like cabbage or something. I'm gonna do the scan roll. I have one pip in it, which means I'll not have a pip because you said it's minus one. Yep. But I argue I can use my distinctive feature of keen-eyed. So oh, if I spend yes. a hope, I get two. Yes. That's what I'm yes. going to do. Okay. I'm down to nine hope, you guys. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So two 12s. Let's roll those first. Oh, I got a 12. Oh, oh, oh Gandalf. Nice. nice. Let's see cabbage. if I get anything extra that I won't share with anyone. Yup, I got a six as well. So I get wow. double food and I'm not sharing with any of you. Okay. Babies. So you find two whole cabbages. The the seeds must have been blown by the wind. And She uh, comes back and she's like wiping her face. She's got another cabbage in her hand and she's just waltzing over, mm-hmm, sits down, puts it in her bag. I'm not walking down wind of Lobelia. (laughs) (laughs) It's a good point. That might impact your stealth rolls. uh, (laughs) Rory, amazing. Rory Rory looks at Primula and uh, uh, says, points at the cabbage that Lobelia is holding, and says, "Is that the C word you were talking about? The cabbage (laughs) she's holding." Uh, yes, I will. Well, well I'll, I'll explain. Yes, it does has fold, have similar folds okay. for sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, so it's just a it's just Esmeralda, right? So you're you're the last one that is not yeah, eating. No, I'm with my brother. I had raspberries. Yeah. I'm good. Oh we no, ate. right, you did. Everyone we, ate. Did everyone, we, everyone yeah, ate? Yeah, everybody's mm-hmm. good. Everybody got food. Yep. Okay. I love this challenge. What a fun, like, <laughs> like uh, yeah. challenge of, like, <laughs> find food. Okay. So ordinarily, you would accrue some fatigue points. If, if, you, ha- if you weren't able to get food, you, you would lose fatigue points and, or, or uh, you'd lose endurance. Or no, you would gain fatigue. Sorry. You'd gain fatigue and... Mm-hmm. Uh, you would have to roll a valor check to avoid losing another point of hope, despairing over missing a meal. As, mm. as hobbits, you're certainly not used to okay. it. So, but it turns out you all have uh, a nice uh, get some food for the evening. Two of two of you by uh, illicit means. Late in the evening, as you're bedding down, maybe you're, you're smoking your pipes. Some of you, 
you see a some bobbing lanterns and you hear elf song like drifting over the, <gasps> over the hills and off off in the distance you see a small party of elves crossing <gasps> crossing the fields on their on their way you believe to the gray havens and this is the first time any of you have seen an elf i guess right yes um yes yeah, this is your first time seeing an elf, and it's just like, it is the most magical experience. And any fatigue that you would have accrued tonight from your travels is, yeah. is gone. Um, wow. you, have, you have a lovely, like, magical, uh, magical <sighs> night, like, as a result. Because of the 12 that I rolled uh, on the random encounter table. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, okay, so the second day... Uh, dawn comes up bright and clear. It looks like it's going to be a perfect day for walking, and you set out again. Um, however, as midday draws near, the sky starts to turn gray, and heavy clouds begin to roll in. And by the time lunch has passed, there is a, a, a rainstorm, heavy rainstorm, unleashes all of its fury. And you, f- you find yourselves trudging through muddy terrain as you head towards Green Hill Country. So I'm going to roll again on the table. Oh. Okay. Another 12. Oh. What? So you, you, you don't, you're, I think your memory of the elves is so strong that it sustains you for that entire day. However, passing through the mud, you each gain two points of fatigue, which oh. you can reduce by one with a travel check. Okay. This travel. A successful travel roll. Okay. okay. Let's see. Uh, nope. Not for Paladin. I wrote an 11. Does that make it extra bad? Uh, yep. Cool. Well, no, it's just an automatic failure, so you get... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I fail. Okay. I fa- uh, fail. Right under two. Okay. Um, okay. all right. And you have to try to get more food. <sighs> Well, I still let's have just, my other cabbage. Let's just do quick cabbage. checks. We can do like, do, yeah, you still, uh, Lobelia is okay. So the rest of you have to find food. Oh, man. All uh, right, we're so. still in a hunt free zone. Yes. All yes. right. No hunting in the South Farthing. Or, or West I Farthing. will try explore. Okay. I would like to, um, Esmeralda would like to go over to Lobelia and say, Lobelia, I just wanted to say it's been so amazing uh, adventuring with the best dress hobbit in Bag End. Hmm. <laughs> my, my aunt says that you have the the bestest wig in all of the Shire. Can't believe you. Know, I should be mayor. I should own the Shire, as much as everyone talks about me. You do, huh? I I agree. I I, I think you make the best cabbage pie that I've ever smelled. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She goes, well, you, you might be a tween, but you know, you know, you know how to flatter, flatter me, I guess. What, you, you want some of her cabbage? Um, just, uh, I, I can trade I would say you. try to roll her like a persuade, like against me or something, okay. right? sure. Or whatever yeah, you two think. Pips. I can do that. Okay, she's got two also, that. so. Or courtesy, um, you can do courtesy. Or courtesy. Yeah. Oh, Actually, courtesy, courtesy would, would be more appropriate. I you would, would impress would me with your courtesy, I think. I wouldn't yeah. roll against you. Yeah, this sounds more like a courtesy check than a persuade check. Okay. Mm. Oh, move or eight, 18. Yes, I went over. Okay. Well, okay. okay. Nice. Esmeralda, right. you may be a took, but you really are getting off on the right foot. Mm. <laughs> she shares some of her cabbage. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. S- stick with me. <laughs> <laughs> so you each have food, but it's not enough for a hobbit. So you get what you each get one point of fatigue, and you don't lose any hope. Um, okay. What do what do the rest of you do? Paladin comes running into camp with his hat, just like. Spilling over with berries. And he's like, Look what I found! Look what I found! And it's just like he found the mother load. <laughs> I rolled a 12 
and two sixes. Oh, what? Wow. Holy Out shit. of three wow. D6s. And the other one was a four. So, like, it was a wow. crushing explorer roll. So, you got three meals worth. So, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Okay. You fed you it. everyone. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Thank God. Uh, unless someone wants to try to find food for tomorrow or something. We, we could. I mean, we haven't tried hunting yet, you guys. I think we have it in us. But we can't hunt. No, in we can't. There's no, there's no animals around yeah, here. Oh, right. all, yeah, there's no. But what about grubs or something? Nothing. No. Um, no. I could try another skin. Sure. I'll try that again. I'm not going to spend any more hope. So it's just twelve and a six. Okay. Oh no! I was. I have Saren. I, I really Saren. don't see anything out yeah, there. Yeah, this really. This is. Uh, this is. Uh, this is a hard country in the West Farthing. Uh, all right. Okay. We're gonna Anyone have to else? go to town. Uh, Rory feels like he debased himself by thieving yesterday, and he feels bad. And he's not very good <laughs> at scanning, but like he's gonna like look left and look right and hope to find something instead of doing things the dishonest way. So quick roll. He's not very good at it. No, only a three. And he only okay. has like I think he only has it's either nine or eight hope left. So he's just feeling like hollowed and empty by the journey that he's been on so far. Okay. Um, all right, so you guys, like, you are in the middle, you're eating the food that you were able to find, and you are all able to have enough of a meal for, for a hobbit. The rain subsides at sunset, the night, night sky clears, and you, you know that carrying on in the darkness going into Woody End is probably not a great idea. So you set, set up camp, you start to sleep, and... As you're sitting down, like finishing the last of your food, a pair of little red squirrels come kind of curiously kind of like peeking out of out of the darkness <laughs> and just start like kind of like pawing up like towards you like furtively looking and they're like they're like, they're like sniffing and like kind of uh, very uh uh, very, uh, they're 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 kind of they're, they're wary, but they 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 they, they like to, they come ever closer. Like seems like hunger is pushing them forward. Put your wig back on, Rory. Go talk to them. You're good at talking to animals. <laughs> yeah, Lobelia. What? This this creatures here. It's a squirrel, Prim. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Just tell it to shoo. We don't have any food. <laughs> okay. Well, how good do you do it? Shoo! <laughs> oh, wait. wait. What? Let Rory try talking to him. I, we might learn something. I, 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 I do have a bit of a way with animals. You're right. It's been quite I, some time since I've last killed a rabbit. So hopefully these small game will forgive me. And, um, well, let's see. Excuse me. Um, uh, squirrel friends? Ha <laughs> ha Squirrel friends, um, I um, am Rory, old Rory, uh, Brandybuck, and um, I am um, uh, a friend of the animals. That's what they say. I'm a friend. Uh, I befriended an owl and a Never mule. mind my famous rabbit skinning knife that I carry. For, forget about that. Uh, as long as you're not a rabbit, you're a friend of old Rory's. That's what we say at Buckland. Um, um, what, uh, may I ask why you're here? So they're they're just like they hear you talking. Make a make a courtesy check. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh jeez, I don't think he is good at courtesy. Where is it? Oh no, two pips. You have, you have okay. two uh, two pips. All right, let's see what happens. Uh oh, a twelve, a four, and a one. Oh, Gandalf great. smiles. Okay. Gandalf smiles <sighs> on you this night. So yeah, they just like they kind of like edge up closer to you. And the, they're they're like they're they're just sniffing at the air hopefully and kind of like rubbing their little front paws together and they, he, they look uh, hungry he's going to he's going to pull he's been storing in his pocket a couple extra berries uh because okay. i think rory's always been suspicious of bilbo and everyone else and he's you know sus- <laughs> he, he just wants to be ready for what could happen next any eventuality so he's been doomsday prepping in a side pocket all this time and he's like oh all right uh, see if this helps. And he has a berry in either hand and reaches out to each of the squirrels with them, with them kind of okay. separated. Okay. So you, they, they like kind of like furtively kind of like take the berries from your, from your hands as you, as you have passed them. I'm like, I'm they like, they chew them up. And um, if you weren't, 
you'd, you'd almost swear that they bow their heads to you a little bit before they run off back into the back into the forest. <gasps> Rory, Rory Brandypuck, I had no idea. Or did I? Yes, you you did, Prim. <laughs> yes, Prim. You were you there when just... you spoke to the owl. Remember? Dizzied by your new love. I remember now. <laughs> Oh, Rory Brandybook, <laughs> you once again show the nature that you know how to speak to them. They call me master of all nature's domain. That's what they do call me. Thank you, Primal. Rory Brandybook, the Squirrel King. <laughs> squirrel King. I like it. I like all it. I love Prim so King. much. I just, I love fucking Prim. Prim is just amazing. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, so you guys are still probably like running a little riding high like off of your your elf sighting. So rare and and so so wonderful. And so yeah, you feel like you did a bit of a good deed as a group. Oh, maybe it'll wash away a little bit of the shame that you incurred mm-hmm. from stealing from a a separated couple. <laughs> and <laughs> That was the uh, final straw that caused the divorce, by the way. The <laughs> That's pie. Right. Like, what is it? They were they were on the verge of working it out. It was and then they like each accused the pie. other of, of stealing their half of the pie, and that was it. <laughs> so you wake up you wake up the next morning and you set off uh, through through the woods. And there is just something about your trip today. You this, the, this, uh, there's, you hear the finches, like, with this beautiful song, and they, like, it's so enchanting and compelling that you, like, you may, like, follow them. And as you're, like, following this song, like, through the woods, each time it leads you to another, like, little patch of wild berries, like, in the woods. <gasps> oh, wow. And your, your, your journey is, is uh, just, you have a, a, you have a wonderful, day there's something bright about the forest today and with these birds like singing to you you each have enough food for the day and you each restore one point of hope oh wow yeah. and this is as a result of being nice to all of the animals so far that you've encountered oh, oh awesome nice. yeah. yeah i love this so much I love it. Well, the pig we butchered and slow roasted on a spit. <laughs> and the sad thing, it was also like a small pig, so it was like a a kid, baby pig. Right. Oh, I mean, can you call an animal as intelligent as a pig? An animal, really? They're basically humans. So that's oh, right. true. This is not getting better. So, so it's like eating one of the big folk. It's not as yeah, bad so, as eating mm-hmm. a squirrel. Content yeah, warning: yeah. incest, cannibalism. I, I have <laughs> right. to know. I have to know. By the way. Uh, that's as written in the adventure. Does that just happen to perfectly align with Skid's "be nice to animals"? Like Skid, if, it, if, if no one doesn't know, like if he has to kill an animal, like Red Dead Redemption, he's like, "Nope, I hate it. I don't want to do it." Yeah. Mm, there I is love a that. there's a point in I don't want to spoil anything, but there is a point in Red Dead Redemption Two. Ellen will know what I'm talking about. There's something that happens. And I, it made me cry more than anything else in my life. I cried for, for 25 minutes straight when the certain thing, no. it has to do with an animal and it, 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 it destroyed me. So yes, no. uh, I'm glad that the text of this adventure supports my general philosophies. Yeah. Excellent. So, <laughs> I would so, never yeah, kill you, an animal in Red Dead Redemption either. No, I can't. I hate the hunting. I don't, I don't like doing it. I have so, several hunting badges. Anyway, I know. So. And, yeah. yeah. So you uh, you you have a wonderful day, and you reach uh, the babbling waters of the Stockbrook uh, just about <gasps> sunset, and you get you still have you have enough berries like to last you like maybe probably another whole day. You're able to like, amazing uh, harvest enough on your trip, and the stars tonight are the, the there's a cloudless night. The stars are bright and free tonight uh in and in spite of any weariness and hunger that you have faced along the way and there's a lightness that in your heart as you rest upon the banks of the stock brook <laughs> and then you all hear it is as if the starlight were given form and voice you see a being from legend step out of the soft embrace of night to shine upon you and this musical voice you hear Ellen Silla Lumen Omentielvo. And as if it were given form by that song, you see an elf 
clad in blue raiments with hair fair as gold. And he smiles at all of you. And he says, whether it be a merry chance or some greater will that has brought us together, I am glad for it. I am Galdor of the Havens, and I have long been curious about the mischievous hobbits that have been going about causing all manner of stories to be spun by birds and beasts across the Shire. Why, I spoke only a few days ago to Badgerbrock of the Withywindle, and he told me of your company, each by name, as he had heard it from a finch who had heard it from a fox. I suspect that by now even Yarwain in the old forest has heard your merry mishaps. But I am forgetting myself, adopting rustic ways for these rustic realms. May I trade some simple elvish travelling fare in exchange for sharing your company and your camp this evening? <laughs> of course, of course. The three women are like fighting over getting to him. I should talk to him. I should talk to him. I'm the prettiest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the youngest. <laughs> yep, exactly. He's probably 3,000 years older than you. You should stay back. <laughs> I'm the oldest. <laughs> well, but, but again, I am the prettiest, and and um, she's putting and on that's her fancy. That's all that matters to elves. <laughs> <laughs> the shallow elves, known for their shallowness, their legendary shallow superficial. <laughs> so she's shallow. totally woo, woo this elf for sure. Yeah, and she puts on her fancy garment, which is one of my traveling gears uh, or oh. virtues. No, wait, traveling gear. I have fancy it's your garment. Gear. You have your fancy, you have your fancy, fancy dress. Yeah. Oh, that's so <gasps> pathetic. You know. What right. are like. <laughs> I know. Oh, I see you have dressed in your finest rags for your exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> the finest peasant burlap. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. Is that ready to wear? <laughs> wow. That's off the rack. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh my God! It's like so wash hard. Wash and wear. <laughs> wash and wear. Oh, yes. <laughs> And she just, yeah, and so Primula steps forward and it's like, she bows uh, and then realizes, no, I should cur- curtsy. And then she she gets on her knees and starts like, uh, falls down and basically prayer position is just like, I don't know what to do. No, please, that is not necessary. Okay. I only wish to share your campfire. You do not need to go through such protestations. C- can, well, can I can I offer you some berries, Mr. Elf? Would you like to, when you sit with us? He's just trying to be sweet to everyone. He throws back his head and he laughs, and it's this musical laugh. And, like, you might have heard Bilbo, like, tell stories about, like, the elves. And, like, that's one thing that anyone who has, like, encountered the elves will Mm -hmm. will mention is their laughter. It's just, like, it's easy and light and musical. And it's just, like, when you hear for the first time yourself, it just, it's transporting. And it's just, like, there's just, there's no... There's no guile to it at all. There, but there is like somehow there's still there's some. It's 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 merry, but there's some there's some like sort of deep sadness maybe somewhere in it. It's the it's the most like sort of musical wonderful thing oh, that you've ever heard. Almost like so, at the innocence of the Hobbit, like an innocence that the elf has lost but understands deeply. Like that's like no guile, like you're saying, no yeah. nothing condescending about being offered the. That's no, amazing. no. Yeah, he's just, he's truly, like, delighted that you that you would offer him this. So he's just, he has this, says, I shall, I shall take your kind gift in exchange for something of mine. And he brings out these beautiful loaves of, of fair white bread. And he just uh, parses it out to you all. And if you partake, it's like, it's, uh, you yeah. know, hobbits make some great bread. But this is very different than anything you've ever had. And it's, you don't think you'll ever forget it. Ah. <sighs> Oh, and then Finch. there's Amazing. also he also like uh, as it's like he passes out this little like clear crystal bottle um, and he says like uh, this may help the bread go down and he passes it out and if you sniff at it it's just it's it's some sort of like cordial and uh, do you drink it does everyone drink it yeah. hell yeah yep. cheers oh, yeah, yeah. Well, bottoms up yeah everyone um, drinks it I- can I ask my brother something like really like superstitiously? Is that a good word? She leans yes. over and she's like, "Are we sure this is an elf? We're one hundred percent sure this is an elf, right? One hundred percent sure. One hundred percent." Well, I don't, I don't know if it's a hundred percent, but I think it's close. 
I've never seen one before. How, how do we, you know what it is? Does anyone know it's an elf? Well, I've never seen one either, you know, but they, it's he's glowing with a great white light. Why would he be doing that if he wasn't really an elf? It's hey. not a trick of the light. It's not a candle. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, to take okay. excuse me, M- Mr. Galdor, yeah. sir. Yes. Well, my sister and I, we we never seen an elf before, and I, I, well, we're, we're worried about folks on the road trying to trick us. You, you know. So, can you prove it? Can you prove that you're an elf? <laughs> and he just he just laughs again, and he's just like, I don't know what proof would you have of me. I don't... Esmeralda? You fool of a dog, are you serious? <laughs> Do elves have birthmarks anywhere? No, but get, get the bread he oh. gave us, his laugh is magical. He's... Why are you treating our guests like this? I'm sorry, I well, just... Well, mortified. <laughs> yeah, pretty nice dying as well. She's just like... like... I'm mortified! <laughs> Mortified. <laughs> mortified. <laughs> Primula is trying, trying to say, save this. She's like, Senor Elf. Um, like trying to, <laughs> <laughs> trying to find the title. Elf or is Spanish or both. Yeah. Um, I must apologize on behalf of these young twins. Um, they do not know of which they speak. Um, is it true that you are related to a god? Related <laughs> to a god? He laughs again. He's just like, no, I am not related to a god. And it is good. It is good that you question things. It is good to be careful. But I mean you no harm. Two days back, we saw some elves deep in the wood making their way through. Do you know about them? Were you with them? Are no. you trying to find them? No, no. Although there are parties of elves that are passing through your lands in order to reach the Undying Lands. They are leaving this Middle Earth. But Going why? back to our true home. Will you, you come back? No. Not even I'm for sorry. my wedding? <laughs> he laughs again. Oh. It's like, I would love to attend your wedding. I, and I have no plans to leave anytime soon. Oh. Why aren't you leaving? My work is not yet finished here. I have not yet felt the call. Um, anyone who wants to can do an insight check. Oh, oh yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, wow, that, I'm good at that. Boy, this is not going to be... Nice. Uh, oh, yes! Success! Success, success and a six. 18. Success okay. and a six. Six and 18, no six. No six. Okay. Success. Okay. Did anyone fail? Rory? No, success. <laughs> Rory, I'm looking <laughs> in your direction. <laughs> uh, yeah, those are, so to put it in the Frodo's terms, uh, when he encounters Aragorn, he says that a servant of the enemy would seem fairer but feel fouler than Aragorn did. This person seems fair and feels fair yeah yeah you're you're this is clearly an elf and it's as far as you know he means you no harm at all Mm. and yeah so does it does anyone drink this stuff yeah Mm -hmm. yes of course um and i can't remember the name of it but it's this it's this elvish cordial uh that legolas legolas or gandalf give to the hobbits as they're trying to cross the pass of Carathas in the book and it saves their lives it's just it's wow. sort of like the mirror to the the orc draft that they M- use mirror mirror that's what it is there you go mirror bottle cap <laughs> so yes yeah, so you feel oh, like yeah. strength like this this like wholesome strength sort of enter your limbs and this sort of like this casting off of troubles that like with each sip that you take it's just yeah, it's, it's just wonderful it's clear and colorless the name Mirava refers to a reviving cordial of the elves of Rivendell a liquor with the power to grant renewed vigor and strength yes so all of you get all, all of your fatigue erased oh amazing <laughs> and yes. you each get another point of hope back oh nice wow. yes. back, back, back in the base we're doing good so so far. We're doing very good. Whoops. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I think I feel better than when we left. I know this journey is like wonderful. Yeah, you're coming out uh, coming out ahead so far. We should so made to be adventurers. We should yeah. go to jail more often. Well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> yeah. Prison was, was good for you, it seems like. Yeah. So you all sort of have uh, share each other's company well into the night. You're trading songs and stories, and this the sound of Hobbit and elf laughter sort of mingles in the beneath the stars. And until you, and as you're about ready to go to sleep, he says, uh, he tells you, sleep peacefully tonight. You have nothing to fear, and you believe him. Okay. When you wake up in the morning. Uh, mm -hmm. You can see that there is a pile of uh, fresh fruit and nuts uh, in in a big leaf, like sort of uh, <gasps> waiting there in the middle middle of your campsite. Galdor is already awake, and he says, "Good morning, fair hobbits. I fear that I have an errand to attend to, and I must now depart. But I offer you my blessings, and please, to do be cautious in any further adventures that you undertake. Goodbye." And he just sort of drifts away, and he's just I love like, oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> she throws herself at him. <laughs> Will we ever see you? Will we ever see you again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have enough food for the final day. Do you do you continue on to yeah. bump for long? Should we try to open the letter? <gasps> Actually, you no, know, I don't think we should do that. No. He after, said not to. I don't want to go back to jail. After oh. after we we met that 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 wonderful man, I I don't think I can return to a life of crime again. Recidivism <laughs> is just not in the brandy. <laughs> but uh, uh, but it's it's not up to me. I go back is. inside. If you if you if you want to, you can. And 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 Rory pulls out the letter and hands it out there and closes his eyes. Rory, she takes it <gasps> and. Primelia oh. takes it from Primula takes it from Lobelia or tries what? to take it from Lobelia. Wow, okay. What? What <laughs> is your deal? Work. Should yeah. she roll a strength check? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Exactly. Yeah, and then she <laughs> gives her a slap. No. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Damn. I, all right. No, she does not. She Let's does not. Let's go. Um, <laughs> she, well, well Prim Primula at least reaches for the letter and is like, no. Why? You're not well, opening it. I am. Well, in that case, I think you should open it and I should read it in case there's some sensitive sensitive You're information. You're so bad, Prim. <laughs> I, I knew not. you were cool. <laughs> I knew you were cool. Lavelia's like close. a bad girl. She's like a mean girl. It's so I'm funny. I'm nowhere close to you. I am different from you. I didn't say that. You. you are not close to me. No, no, no. Oh. Come with me, Prim. <laughs> well, fine. Just in, if, in case anyone's wondering, I'm just doing it to make sure that the contents are safe and um, not, you know, there's no danger in uh, reading them. And I shall let everyone know if there's anything in from, if, of value in there. Otherwise, we will never, you know, we will never discuss this ever again. Let me what just worry? remark that, that uh -oh. Labelia, you have more snaps than a slam poetry festival. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Oh, snap. 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 I disagree, but fine. And. <laughs> Lobelia? Agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. Lobelia? All right, let's see. How do I open this without Wait. making it known? Well, you we have we to get it? into it with, the, with a good knife, actually, as if she's done it so many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think this is a Prim's first uh, illicit letter opening adventure. Um, and, then, and then make sure that uh, the, the knife is. is is really cl uh, close to the paper and the wax. And then you just snap it like you would at a poetry slam. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Are you sure you don't want to do it? You sound like you really know what you're doing. I absolutely do not know what I'm doing. I'm just theorizing. Okay. She takes her decorative <gasps> short sword, I guess, or dagger, oh, no, whatever. No, 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 no. Yeah. Do you even have a, anything better? A dagger? Like, and she hands off, she hands a dagger. <laughs> a letter opener dagger. Fine, I'll use your dagger. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I just want to say something at this juncture. This is an important yes. moment. It is? I didn't know this until recently because of this game. Sort of oh. deep diving into my Tolkien 
which I have not really done before. Okay. It's in like Unfinished Tales or something like that. But did you ever know that uh, Tolkien wrote stuff about how Saruman had taken an interest in the Shire because of Gandalf's interest in it? Yeah. And he had started planting these like magical sort of poor intentions into some of the uh, hobbits and had started questioning them through spies and getting information. And the primary ones were the brace girdles yeah. and the Sackville Bagginses. And that yeah. sort of explains why they're kind of like enemies. They were actually like unknowing servants of Sauron and were manipu- uh, Saruman and were manipulated by him. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I never knew yeah. that. Yeah. And there's a little that. There's a little bit of a, an, an allusion to it, a reference to it in the films as well. Just when, when they sack um, Isengard, when the hobbits find, when Merry and Pippin find all the food there and like the pipe weed and everything, it's the because long Saruman, leaf. yeah, it's because Saruman has been doing trade with the Shire. Uh, and, and it's like some of the big merchants that he was dealing with were, you know, this, the brace girdles and the sackville baggages. So it's, yeah, so she's got a little bit of like, Lobelia's got a little bit of actual uh, oh, corruption. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. It's interesting. Fun okay. bad. I will fun say, bad. in, in uh. Lobelia's defense, and I've, kind of, I've talked about this before, but the way, so she's pretty like grasping and, and, and sort of uh, selfish and everything, greedy. Yeah. But... Um, in the end, when Saruman takes over the Shire in the in the scouring of the Shire part that was cut out of the films, uh, that it's Lobelia's son Lotho that ends up taking over mm-hmm. uh, as 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 Saruman's sort of puppet. And like Thane, right? He's the Thane. Just yeah, to I don't Saruman. even think I don't think they call. It's just like the big big man or something. I can't remember, but uh, they. They, t- they, Lobelia stands up to him. She stands Ooh. up to her own son to the point where he actually throws her in the lock holes where you guys just were. Oh. And she refuses to give in. So at the end, like, she does do the right thing. She has a very redemptive arc, yeah. Yes, yes, she does. Plot armor. Uh, okay, <laughs> that too. Okay, so <laughs> are you, you, you going <laughs> to... <laughs> are you guys going to try to open this thing? No, if anyone tries... Yeah. If you try to open it, give me a craft check. All right, I was that's what I was thinking you were gonna say. Um, I'm gonna use a hope, and okay, I don't think I can use any of my distinctive features to well, you're inquisitive. my way out of this. Uh, Does you, that you're, count? Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah. can I hope. aid her anyway, or can I roll a craft? No, no. And that means I get three total pit dice. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Pretty high target number, though. I know, I have a 16, 16 in strength for oh. craft. Uh, I got a 6, 12, okay. Okay. a 16 oh. total! There you go, okay. So you're able, like, working oh, the dagger, you're able to shit. pop off the seal intact. Like and I'm open sweating. The Just got let's it. See, let's see, let's see. Get out of here, you didn't, you weren't part of this. <laughs> Be on my side. Be on my side all the way. <laughs> spoon. Not only when it's fun. Your hair is so beautiful, Lobelia. Thank you. Come it here, come here. Good. You know I have a soft spot for you. Come here. It really is girls, like Green Girls. I girls, love read the note. <laughs> um, Wait. I would like to read the note. I want okay. to know what it says as well. Okay, so oh. Prim, reason, do you read it out loud? Uh, yeah, sure. She'll, she'll, oh, sorry. I, I, I'll skim through it, but um, or if Lobelia lets me read it, I mean, like I just said, I wanted to, but go ahead. Yeah. All right, okay. I shall read it. Make sure that there's no dangerous, dangerous contents in it, and she okay. reads through it. Okay, so you open it, and it reads M with a dash after it. These are the friends I was telling you of, and there's another dash at the end. It just says BB. Oh what? dear, Bilbo who's M and who's B? Oh, Bilbo Baggins, yeah. of course. M. M must be. M. Are we the delivery? <gasps> we. What are we? They're well, expecting us. It says these are the friends I was telling you about, and know. we're bringing this this <gasps> message. Bilbo is talking about us. No. As his friends. 
But I wonder Ugh. who M M. You see, Lobelia, he's not all bad. Give me a give me a uh, awareness check. Awareness. Awareness. You got it, good buddy. Bam, got it. Bam soda. One six. I got it. Oh, six and a twelve. Whoop. Okay. Uh, I also got it. Okay, no both six. of you notice in this moment that there is a name on the other side of the envelope to whom it is addressed. Okay. Oh. No one thought it to over. ask. Sorry. <laughs> Flip it over. <laughs> Sorry. The legendary uh, inquisitiveness of the hobbits. And, uh, <laughs> never, never looked it over. <laughs> you turn it over and it says Farmer Maggot. Oh, Maggot. Farmer Maggot's crop. I remember, or do I, from <laughs> previous <laughs> sessions? No? No. Okay. No. Oh, I've never heard that name. <laughs> it's one of my Unless fa- your character read the book or saw the movie. That, that, yeah. I... I n- no. All right. that, that's one of my <laughs> okay. favorite scenes, though, from, from so Fellowship cool. when he falls and you hear the big crack and he pulls out the gigantic oh, carrot. I think I broke something. That's maggot. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. He's got like the scythe in the air, like ah, yeah. Oh, right. What the fuck? Oh. Maggot's crop. Oh, <laughs> amazing. That's awesome. Oh my god, I love this so much. He's the name. <laughs> I don't know much about Farmer Maggot, but I do know that he's quite angry. Really? Yes. If you steal his crops. Right. But I only know that he's good at what he does. So. Right, we should. I'd like to meet him because yes. also Paladin is trying to like farm. He's trying to learn how to farm. Well, he just started his own farm. He's very oh. new yeah. at this. Yeah, not probably not. This is still pretty. This is pretty far back from you know the events of Fellowship of the Ring. So you, right. you all of you might not know. Paladin probably might, just as another farmer, like you might know Farmer yeah. Mag- Maggot. But but yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. So do you do you continue? What, yeah. what do you do with the letter, and do you continue on? How do we reseal it? Make it look like we never opened it? Yeah. Well, How? It's wax. So. Another. Craft anybody check. have a light? Yeah, we got a candle. We have a candle. Uh, okay. sh- yeah, and you're traveling here. Uh, somebody give me another craft check. See if you can reseal it. Oh dear. I don't have any craft. I have like. Well, since we're all um, complicit now, does anyone else with a higher craft maybe want to try? What, what do you have? One pip in craft? No. I have one pip. Yeah, I used hope. I, I have two. Oh. Uh, you do it. Oh, see? You it's villain. It. Go ahead, <gasps> Primula. <laughs> it's Prim's time some, to shine. I might have some experience. You see, I've been sending out a lot of wedding invitations lately, and you know, sometimes you make a mistake, and that's Shut what just up. happens. Um, and I'm going to spend a hope on this roll. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. And I oh. think Prim, Prim, you have one pip in craft. Oh, sorry. I well, I have I, one. I I messed up. Well, but I did crush it anyway with a okay. twelve and a six. But okay, um, great. Uh, mm. Well, a twelve, uh, I guess. Okay, so you're able to kind of, and you actually realize that like all you really have to do is like warm it in your hand, and you can just reseal it, and it's fine. Oh, cool. You don't even need the candle. Oh, so man, okay, I so you guys, you guys continue on. We'll continue on. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, so finally, so you, you cross the stock brook at a spot where it meanders shallowly. And this is nothing like the ford that you crossed before. This is just a brook. And you ask uh, some local fishermen for directions. And you arrive that afternoon at Bomb Furlong in the Marish. And the Marish is like, it's mostly like marshland and everything. There's a lot of, mm-hmm. since it's late summer, there's a lot of like midges and, and mosquitoes and everything. It's a little, uh, it's a little it's getting kind of humid. But you see it. You see it's this big, long brick farmhouse with a thatched roof. And there are great fields filled with like really impressive vegetables, like all around it. You're nearing like harvest season, getting close to harvest season, and they're starting to look like this is mouthwatering. Like looking at all these melons and potatoes and cabbages and everything, and uh, and mushrooms. Um, and as you get closer, you see a young but broad hobbit, and uh, also in his tweens, working the fields. He's like tilling it with a hoe. And is he um, attractive? 
<laughs> uh, I actually, you know what? You can decide for yourself. Uh, I have I have art of him if you'll refer to roll twenty. Really? Uh, let me let me show you here. Really? <laughs> wow. Ooh. Oh. There you go. So decide for yourself. He looks kind of like Mickey Rooney. It yeah. also looks like he has teardrop tattoos in the art for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> like he killed someone in okay. prison. I have the best. I have the best uh, um, a comparison. He looks like the evil guy in uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame, like the evil the Frollo, the Disney version. Okay, I don't have that image uh, ready at hand in my brain, but I'll trust yep. you. Never, I never seen have, it, uh, but I'll trust you. I have image of Galdor of the Havens also. If uh, oh come the, on, your, your, elf, your new elf friend there he is. He's hot. Oh. Yeah, he's he was very attractive. <laughs> if he, he had is. to choose, ladies, if he yeah, had, to he is. He is very attractive. Maybe he's uh, yeah. it, but maybe it's Maybelline. That's all. Maybe I'm it's saying. Maybelline. He's a Barbizon guy. Maybe it's maybe it's <laughs> immortality. Maybe, maybe it's, it's immortality. immortality. So as you approach, uh, he shoulders his his uh, little shovel there. Um, and, uh, he says, uh, hey, you there, state your business. <clears throat> we have a message. <clears throat> we have a message. Hello, Mr. Right. Maggot. A message, you say, and he, like, spits. He's like, well, out with it then. Right. Um, and she hands it over with a, with a smile and a curtsy. All right. And he <laughs> snatches it out of your hand. Like we didn't read it. it you have no idea what it says. <laughs> it looks up suspiciously at you. It's like, why would you say that if you didn't so do it? So good, as <laughs> Way to cover your tracks, though. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Yep. Thank, thank you, Esmeralda. <laughs> if he had any suspicions before, <laughs> allayed. We have allayed those. We've allayed yeah. them completely. Well, so he opens it up Esmeralda. and he reads it, and um, he lets it, he reads it. He, like his mouth is moving as he's reading it. And he lets out a deep laugh. And uh, he says, <laughs> well, I was told you were coming, but I wasn't sure I would have actually seen you in the flesh. It's quite a long road from Mickle Delving. Now, come on, come on, come on, please, please, follow me. We've got to be hungry and thirsty and quite weary by the look of you. Actually, don't look weary at all. Well, well, anyway, come with me. At the very least, we're hungry. Certainly, certainly. So he invites all of you conspirators into his home and he leads you into the kitchen. And as he walks through the door, he says, like, oh, I've got someone here to see you. And you walk through the door and sitting at a very fine table that has already been laid. None other than Bilbo Baggins. Oh, hey. <gasps> sitting with his feet up, eating a bright colored apple. You, you. Oh. <laughs> you hold left me back, us. Hold me back. <laughs> yeah. You left us in jail. <laughs> well, he got to say a jail, really. I mean. That's fair. He got but out. he put us in there to begin with. No, he didn't. No, he no, didn't. He did. It was he all did. his fault. No, well, okay. he did send you on a mission that <laughs> ended up putting you in jail. Hey, but I, we chose to go on that mission. We didn't have to do it. No, I'm with Labili on this one. Um, He put us there. Bilbo. <laughs> Bilbo Baggins is a monster. <laughs> That's the lesson of this well, story. Mr. Bilbo is a saint. <laughs> I see that you got my letter, Mr. Maggot. Now that we're all here, let us get to the business at hand. <sighs> so, <laughs> this is the end of the fourth adventure. This is it. So, oh my God! Happy I thought. Uh, so there, there's actually there's one final adventure, and as you can see, I really enjoyed that. But there's not a whole lot happens in that one. Yeah. Um, if you guys want, we can keep going. <laughs> and just, you know, get as far as we can. I'll try to, like, push us through it. Uh, I don't want to keep anyone here too late, but we can we can start pushing through to the next one if you guys want. Uh, to y'all, y'all call it. Pick yeah. my wig. Okay, please. <laughs> I'm game. Okay. Wig. Ears, wig, Let's everything. push. Let's go fast. Hey, Ellie, no role playing. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, I'll play you. you got it, Joe. <laughs> only dice rolls. <laughs> only dice okay. rolls. Only only dice rolling. We'll play like Amber Die. Just no <laughs> no speaking in character, no funny voice. No feelings. No feelings. No, no messages. Either you no character win building. Or you lose. No win or you lose. <laughs> got it. You can't even get a tie because a tie is like kissing your sister, and we don't we frown on that here on the one ring. 
<laughs> so the next day, you all wake up, and the there's a big breakfast, big country farm breakfast set for you. And yeah. uh, if uh, you're, everyone's re- restored your full endurance, um, you know anything, any, anything you had there. Um, and you guys all settle down to a, a, a wonderful large meal. And when after the table has been cleaned and pipes have been lit, and Maggot is like perfectly cheerful, like his, his demeanor changed immediately the minute he read the letter. But then all of a sudden, um, he's looking out the window and his demeanor um, becomes more stern again. And he's sitting under on, on a bench like against the window. He takes a long draw from his pipe, Farmer Maggot does. And he gazes out to a small ruined building on the far side of his wide farmlands. Chickens, he says suddenly as he blows out a long line of blue-gray smoke. It is because of my chickens that I sent the letter, Mr. Baggins. Any hint of jest fades away as he leans into your group. And to be honest, I'm glad you've not come alone. When I saw that thing that night, blood, blood in its teeth and fire in its eyes, I knew there was something beyond the can of myself or any other folk in the East Farthing. It was a beast, I tell you, and not some hungry wolf that came up from Dunland starving. This was a black thing, as if its fur had been built burnt like kindling, with nothing natural about it, and it set chills down my spine, no easy task, mind you. But when I heard it, it, when I heard it growled at me, we locked eyes and I saw naught but a lust for death in its gaze. It meant to kill more than my chickens in their coop that night. I grabbed a lantern in one hand, you see, and my chopping axe. If it was going to take me, it why wasn't going down without a fight. Before I knew what happened, it was on me, crossing the field in a bound and pinning me to the soil, snarling and slavering. And his eyes glaze over in a memory, and you see him tremble at the recollection. And bear in mind, this is a guy, when the ring wraith came to his house, he chased him off. So, <laughs> <laughs> this guy's no nonsense. He's, yeah, this is not an easy guy to fight. In a fit, I swung my lantern up, and it shattered, pouring oil on its muzzle. It yelped and screamed as the fire blazed, it fled off into the dark. Last things I saw before it disappeared towards the brandy wine were those horrible, fiery eyes. And he sets his pipe down on the bench beside him. Still out there. I swear I've seen it beyond the edges of Bam Furlong on more than one night since then, those eyes burning into me from the dark. And if the stirrings from Buckland are any hint, it is causing no end of trouble there too. Master Bilbo, sir, I was hoping that your uh, famous friends here might help me and the Buckland folk put a stop to that foul thing's hunting before it gets a taste for something more than chickens. Oh. Well, you're in luck. Um, our friend Rory here can talk to animals, so I'm sure we can just ask him to stop. It's true. Right? true. Yeah. Yes, and, 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 and as the future master of Buckland, I claim domain. They call me the Squirrel King of Buckland. <laughs> <laughs> they really don't, but go on. I do. Well, okay, go on. That may be as that may be, but this was no mere animal. And what? Bilbo Bilbo says, like, yes, I, I think this may be a bit more dangerous than the other tasks I've set you on. But, uh, well, um, you would be doing the people of the Marish and of the Buckland a very great service if you would undertake this cause. Well, we're going to do it. You know, we just got out of prison. Yes, <laughs> I can see I... the hard look in your flinty eyes. Right. Prison changed you, each of you yes. in turn. <laughs> see it. It's difficult for an ex-convict to get work. Yes, yes, exactly, Paladin. This is a way, this is something to put on your resume. (laughs) Oh, so this is for experience. Yes, for the experience. It's a way, and I'm sure that your parole officer would be happy to sign off. (laughs) Jobs. We can get in a job with this experience. And good jobs, not just at Home Depot. Mm. Oh, no. Does experience pay for the food at my table? Well, All that's of this one. Talk I, of feel I'm good getting... is nice, but <laughs> what's what's the real reward? <laughs> well, I'll give you all the food uh, you can eat. Uh, for for my part, the farmer maggot says, "All right, it's a deal." 
And I mean, <laughs> for, for you, Brandy Bucks, like this is your home turf yeah. here. This is yeah. this is something that like you've been away for a while, so Ooh. you may not have heard of anything that this is happening if this has been happening for a while. But but yeah, this is threatening like your your yeah. home part of the Shire. So there's an urgency for Rory to get back and see what's going yeah. on and set yeah, it yeah. right. And you're really close. Yeah, you're close to Brandy Hall too. So yeah. Yeah, and and Primula feels like, oh, well, I. I've sworn to protect my home, and I I will do my best. I will do my best, Bilbo Baggins. But should any of my friends here die, or get <sighs> injured during this, then... Well then, I will never forgive you. I will find you, and I will burn your house down. Oh, Primula. <laughs> well, if any of you die, there will be no need for Bag Ends. It will destroy all three books of The Lord of the Rings. That's fair. And see, that's plot armor, Jill. There you go. Hey, oh, you now can... that is plot armor. <laughs> yes. uh, speaking of armor, is there anything you have here, farmer, that might help us in terms of the... Uh, you got any uh, any weapons or, or, or anything we could use to fight this uh, thing? No. If it's... no, I'm a farmer, not a blacksmith. You do have the... Wow. You don't have any armor. You do have... Unless you had stolen... If you had stolen the mithril shirt from the Madam House, I would have let you use that, but you didn't. Should have stolen that. So you have the weapons that Bilbo originally gave you, but that's it. Okay. 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 Um, okay. Do I have a? Did he give me any weapons? Because I have nothing oh. on my sheet. Yes. yes. Uh, let me let me send you that. So, um, you basically have. Well, you have a bow, because you you have you have skill in bows. Oh, that's so, why you ran up to me about a bow. Exactly. Yeah. I so, was so confused. <laughs> Bilbo was passing out weapons on your, one of your earlier uh, endeavors, and so you you grabbed a bow. Do you want? You can also. Do you want a, a dagger too? Yes, please, and a nuclear bomb, just in case. <laughs> okay, and a, one tactical. Yeah, nuclear and device. a tactical nuke. Just yeah. <laughs> okay. In case it really gets out of hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be used very tactically. <laughs> Uh, okay, I've so seen those. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, we want to do it. Okay, yeah. so farmer we want to defend the Shire. He tells you that um, he believes he's heard that the creature has somehow crossed over into Buckland, and he's troubling the Brandy Bucks now, based on the news I've heard. You might want to begin your search for this creature by going up to Bucklebury Ferry and crossing there if you want to get closer to it. Okay. Right. Can you put up the map again on roll 20? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I will do that. So, yeah, let's zoom in here. Should we yeah, set out when that awful sun goes down? Um, or should we set out during the day? Well, you have to you have to get into Buckland first. If you're if if the news is accurate, that's where it is. Buckland. So, yeah, you'd have to get there first. So you'd probably want to, I would think you'd want to leave as soon as possible. All right, so right now you're in the Marish, you're northwest of Rushy there. So you want to walk up the road here and you see that Buckleberry Ferry is here at this road crossing uh, on the Brandywine River there. So it's, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's getting a little bit of a late start. You'll probably reach there by nightfall. Okay. Let's hustle. Okay. Hustle. So you guys all get like kitted up and everything. It's like the Battle of Helm's Deep. You're all like strapping your weapons to your bodies and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, as you're setting off out the door, Farmer Maggot runs runs after you and says like, Oh, no, wait, wait, I've got something special for you. And he hands you a basket, and it's full of the most glorious mushrooms you've ever seen. Oh. And yeah, Paladin, like you would know, like he's even at this young age, like he's famous for his mushrooms. Okay. Thank nice. you. We're gonna need these. Okay. Um. Okay, so you set off, and yeah, it's getting to be late summer. Like the sun starts uh, dipping towards the horizon um, as you approach Buckleberry Ferry. If, and you all, all of you feel the evening air is strangely still. Like there's, there's no, there's not even a breeze. Very strange for this time of year. 
there and you don't see any hobbits. Normally you'd see them relaxing out of doors or on their farms or children catching fireflies. You don't see any of that. The air is still. As you continue traveling, um, you about an hour later, the sun is, is going down and you feel this growing sense of dread creeping over you as if you were a rabbit <laughs> sensing a predator. And it's, it's, a dis, it's disheartening. It seems to sink into your bones. No. Um, anybody wants to give me a, an awareness check? I feel yeah. like we're being watched. It's the strangest feeling. It does. Yeah, that is what it feels that like. Too? Ugh, if I'm gross. keen-eyed, may I add a die to this roll? <sighs> yes. I crushed okay. it with a 12 oh, no, seal. so hard. Nice. I did not. I failed. Okay. She's still, she's scared. <laughs> she's okay. young. She's scared. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keen eyed won't work, Skid? No, it would make you inspired if you wanted to spend hope. Oh, I don't even need it, dude. A 12, a 6, and a 5. Now oh, we're nice. talking. Oh, exact yeah. same. Exact okay. same. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. We, we must be related. <laughs> we must be. Well, we were siblings all along. We Even were. last night. Oh okay. no! <laughs> oh, oh no! Uh, what have I done? Um. Did anyone fail? Did anyone fail the roll? I well, failed, I, but not I, like Lavelia. I have Saren fail. Just right, failed. Okay. Yeah, so okay. the rest of you, like you're looking around, you're wondering what's causing this feeling. And all of you but Lobelia, like you spot this glowing pair of orange red eyes over like coming out from some bushes like off in the distance. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And and you look and like it looks like they, they like they, they're just staring at you. And then they blink once, they stare again, the eye close again, and then they're gone. Oh great. Um and Did if you anyone- keep Oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, did anyone else see that? What? See what? Yeah. What? See what? Shh, 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 shh. There's something in there. Stop oh, it! Where? Right there. And do you keep moving? Do you keep moving to the ferry? No. I, yeah. I, yeah. Maybe we. I didn't see it. Maybe we pick up our pace to the ferry. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. We're gonna go a little right. faster. Close so the distance keep, quicker. Yeah. You get off the moving. road quick. Get off the road, Close quick! The Buckleberry Ferry. As as you keep moving, now that you've seen it, like you you see it again, like uh, like off in the distance, like once behind a fence, like you see it, like these orange eyes, they blink, they're gone. Another time, obscured by a hedgerow, and then again, like you see them, like slipping behind a small house, and finally you reach the winding road that turns east off the causeway. And you start walking down the path towards Buckleberry Ferry. And in fact, you can see it for yourselves in the distance. You can see this illuminated, illuminated by starlight in the, in the river, uh, reflecting off the river. And at last, this uneasy stroll has reached its destination. And you can see, as you turn off the causeway further down the lane, the square floating pat- platform that is Buckleberry Ferry. And there's no ferryman tending it at night, which is which is usual. You have to cross on your own. But the water is calm and the stars are bright. And any tension, sigh of relief, might be as prematurely interrupted when you see a, the same pair of red eyes come up from the ditch along the western side of the causeway. And you can start as, and it's like it can, it's like padding towards you, almost deathly silent in the night. It might once have been a dog or a wolf, but its fur is burnt and black. It's the color of cold ash. Its eyes gleaming in the night as it prowls towards you, never flinching. Its predatory confidence seems to grow with every step. Never once does it make a sound, not even its feet as it steps towards you. It's nearly as tall as you are at the shoulder. And you can see as it's a, with a silent snarl, it reveals these white fangs stained pink and it breaks into a charge near you. Oh my God. Towards you. Stay back. Hark, stay where you are. We have to okay. run, don't we? 
Yeah, um, yeah, so you can either fight it, or you can run for the ferry. Run for the ferry. Run! Is, is that the thing we're supposed to be fighting, though? It is. That's right, mm-hmm. that. But, but, any of you, actually, maybe not Lobelia, you might not sense this, but all the rest of you who made your awareness checks... You get the strange, strong feeling that you are operating on its turf. favored favored oh. turf right now, being mm. at night. It seems, it feels like it's a creature of the night in some strange, ephemeral way. Mm. Okay. So you think that if you do want to fight this, you have to find a way to fight it when yeah. it's not dark. Uh, Makes sense. You can try. You can try, but it'll be, you feel like it's you're stepping on a landmine just by trying it. I can't see it. I can't see it properly. We have to get to the we get to the ferry. See what? Go, something, Esmeralda. Something get to the ferry. We have to uh, run. He's gonna grab his sister's elbow and just start like running with her to the ferry. Okay. Lobelia, come with us. Come with us. I'm now. running. I'm. Okay. I don't need to see it. I'm running. Each of you will have to make. An athletics check. Oh, oh no. no. I knew it was coming. Time to spend That's some my least best to the ferry. My least best. Hope. <laughs> I don't have any, anything in that. That means uh, at least it's, it's feet tie and... At, what is it? Just a feet tie then? Yeah. Uh, you can spend hope yeah. to mm-hmm. get an extra point. But, but I'm going to yeah. spend yeah. hope. Here it comes. And I have, I have art it. of this creature too. If you'll look on oh. Oh. oh, is it missing a leg? No. 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 <laughs> cool, yeah. cool, cool. Uh, one advantage. Wow. Spotted that's it. a scary beast. That so is. say we fail. Then it's yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, I definitely so, passed. I yep. didn't fail yet, but say we say you do. What what happens? Well, we'll see. Great. I failed. Um, okay. I'm going oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna no. do a hope. Uh, okay. This is my I spent hope as only well. chance. Will an extra it, six allow me to help? I rolled a three total. What? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Uh, Your umbrella got caught in like a paving stone, dude. I don't even know what I'm running from. I just feel f- uh, scared, and I f- I was following uh, uh, Prim, She's and she fell, so I fell. <laughs> okay. Uh, Paladin, it is his favorite skill, and I spent hope, and uh-huh. I failed. Oh my god! You failed too, my brother. What? Uh, <laughs> R- Rory I failed. I rolled two super low numbers on the D12 and then two twos on the D6s. Oh, God. Okay. What? So, so what happens? Like, I overtake him or something? How does yeah, that you, work? I you trip, stumble. Like, I stumble, but you keep going. Yeah, each of you who failed, you stumble in the darkness, running at full, full speed towards the ferry, and the creature catches up to you. <gasps> So, oh no. Okay, so now we enter combat. Oh, oh my no. god! And Rory's so, standing next to Esmeralda because he also passed just barely with a hope okay. die. So I guess th- that's how the party's laid out in a way. Okay. Okay. Um. All right. So, uh, each of the good news is in this early, this easy version of the beginner's version of the game, all of you get to go first. So let's resolve your attacks. First, okay. who would like to go first? Uh, Paladin, I'll go. Uh, if it's like right up on him, he'll sure. he'll try to pull out that wood axe and okay. just like <laughs> try to hack at it. Okay, and spend a hope. Okay, <laughs> with his life on the line, like no joke. Okay, uh, so swinging the axe. Here we go. Uh, oh, I got. Oh, no, brother. No. I failed because of a really low D12. I got a six and a five on the two D6s. Oh, no. Oh, but only no. only a three that puts me one point shy of success. Oh, even no. Even though I rolled an 11 yo on the two sixes. Wow. Oh, no. Okay. So, yeah, Paladin no. swings wildly in the dark, and this thing, like, maybe the axe glances off its fur. Uh, who wants to go next? I guess I'll I'll try to take a stab, also spending a hope. Okay. I'm gonna take out my short sword and try to stab it in a way that makes it scared of me. Okay. Or something. 
All right, okay. so that means I have three pips now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, I did it. So I have a six, and then I have um, 21 total. Okay. Wow. One, okay, six. that's a hit. That's a hit. Uh, what Yay. is the... What Did you get any sixes? One six. Okay. All right, so what is the damage rating of your weapon? My damage rating is three. Okay, so you and add your... And injury is 16. Okay, so you, you take the damage rating of the weapon, and because, since you rolled a six, you can either uh, spend it to push the creature back, or you can add, you can get a heavy blow and add your strength score to the damage. Heavy blow. Add my strength score to the damage. Oh, because hell yeah. my strength score is 16. No, that's your target number. Oh. Um, it's yeah, the little you're... box in the upper yeah. right of strength. Oh, yeah. I'm going to so push it back because my strength score is two. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh... Get back. Okay. Okay. So you push it back. So you do. It, three, three is your, your thing? Three is the damage. Okay. So you do. You. you and you're here. It's the decorative sword, right? Yes. Okay. So string and you're like, yeah. And you can feel. Like your blade kind of like split its skin and penetrate it a little bit. You do a little bit of damage, like, and it like veers back, like away from your group a little bit. Uh, all right, who wants to go next? I'll go. Okay. And <laughs> and she has her bow, bow out already, and so and so she shoots it into the dark. Hoping okay. She'll, she'll oh no! Hit actually, it. anyone with a ranged weapon goes after all the melee combatants. Ah, okay. Um, and actually, since it's knocked back, no one else who is in melee gets a chance to attack it. Yeah. So I guess it would go right to... Uh, yeah, it would go to anyone using ranged. Yeah. So can I, can I go? (laughs) Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. And, and, oh, I, and everybody else can, you can always like throw a rock, right? Yeah. 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 Um, all right, but I'll use my bow. So here it goes. And I'll use one hope. Okay. Ooh. Uh, so that's one six. That's yeah. That's a hit, I think, uh, against my yeah, f- fifteen, sixteen. Uh, and what is your target number for strength? Fourteen. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. You 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 got it. Awesome. And injuries uh, damage is three, and I got one six. Does that also give me a heavy blow? Uh, I, th- yeah, I th- I think it's like with an arrow, it's the same thing. So you could you can add your your strength score to that if you want. Uh, yeah, that's four. Okay. So I'll definitely do that. Okay. So what's the total? Uh, four. four uh, oh, four add. So then it will be seven. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. So, um, yeah. So Prim, like, boom, like, hits it right in the shoulder and with her, with her bow in the dark. And it, like, it just s- soundlessly kind of, like, turns away from your group and just starts running up north at like Whoa. full speed. And it's gone. Oh. Gone, gone, gone. Wow. Wow, because of the bad assery of Priam. Yeah. Oh, Priam. Yeah. <laughs> the Black Arrow, go now and speed well. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you well, do? that ought to keep him off for a while. And she just marches on to the ferry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what was that? Did anyone get a close look at the creature itself? It was an animal of some kind. Can I do a hunting roll to to, to to try to identify it or figure out what it was? Yeah. Yeah. That feels like lore there. Yeah. Uh, here it comes. Oh, oh. take one of those away. Should we all uh, do that? That is exactly a uh, pass. 14 over okay. 14. Yeah, you, this is like... Yeah, like I, I, like I said, it's like it, it might once have been a dog or, or a wolf, but it, mm-hmm. it, 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 this is something that like you've never seen. It's it uh, you could feel like this sort of palpable aura of fear emanating from it, and it's it's like no animal you've ever seen. Hmm. All right, let's get to the ferry. Prim's yeah. right. Let's get it here before it comes back. Yeah, Prim's just walking. She's just, she's, you got to catch up to her. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you go, you go to the ferry, and you get your the pole out, and you you cross 
uh, without incident. And um, uh, you, you, you know, well, you're very close to Brandy Hall. If you wanted to go to Brandy Hall, yeah, yeah, we, 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 yeah, we, we should go. Isn't that our home? Me and yeah. Rory's home. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yes, we should go. We should go to home, our home. I, I'm, I'm sure we would be welcome back, even though we are <laughs> technically felons at this point. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, um, okay, so you you march on through the darkness, like you you know these ways. You and your mm-hmm. brother like know these ways, like like the back of your hand. And as you're approaching the hall, uh, you see a lantern like off in the distance, and you hear a voice that says, "Hey, you there!" Who goes there? It's it's Primula Brandybuck and and Rory. Prim, Rory, and you see the lantern like comes closer, and you can see it's illuminating the face of Braddock, who is oh. one of one of your one of your father's men. Okay. Um, and he's just like Prim, Rory. Oh my goodness, these why are you out so in the in the dark here? Don't you know it's not safe? We we saw a foul creature. We we met a foul creature. We 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 chased it off, I believe, but I don't know what it was. Chased it here. off. It- Br- Braddock Prim's being very very modest right now. Prim with the with the eye of an elf shot off this <laughs> creature, this evil creature <laughs> from the shadows, and it struck true her arrow, and it ran <laughs> off into the distance, right no. by <laughs> Buckleberry Ferry. I, Aye, she um, saved all our lives. You know, my little, mm. my these are my friends, and they have their stories. <laughs> I, I would never have touched this. Oh, what's this? And she realized she's carrying the bow, and is like, <laughs> Oh, Lobelia, why did you give this your bow, bow to me? And she <laughs> hands it over to her, to Lobelia. It's like, okay. Prim <laughs> 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 does not wanna want anyone to know that she's a fighter. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's like, Ah, uh, you can't fool me, Miss Prim. You always were a bit of an archer, weren't you? Uh, well, we've got to get going. We've got to get off the road if we can. Come on. Uh, yes. I'm, I'm sure that uh, family want to see you. I'm sure your father wants to see you. Oh, so dear. he hustles you back to the streets, back towards Brandy Hall. And, like, you know, there's no real, like, good descriptions of what Brandy Hall is supposed to be like that I know of. I, all I know is like I think it's like the one of the biggest like set of smeals like in Ooh. all of the Shire. It's supposed to be grand, but I I don't I have no I I can't picture it in my head. But it's like it's like it's a Hobbit mansion like burrowed into a hill. <laughs> cool. So, <laughs> uh, so he leads he leads you up the road, and the main entrance of Brandy Hall is off in the distance. And much to your surprise, given the time of night, you see none other than the master of Buckland, Gorbadoc Brandybuck himself, wow. pacing on the front walk. He has a pipe clenching his teeth and leaning on a heavy wooden cudgel. And he looks up at the light of Braddock's lantern and smiles. He says, Ah, really glad to see you, my lads and lasses. And Yes, father, my father, love. Father. Yes, Warmack. Oh, you're a good boy. I never thought to see you again like this. And there's a heart of him there on the roll tonight. Oh, amazing. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. He looks like a cinnamon bun. <laughs> He's like, oh, thank you for finding my children and their friends, brother. Please, please come in. Would you care for some late night vittles? Definitely. Of course. I, of course. No. Yes, I shouldn't have. Should have thought never to, not even to ask. Come in. You are Brandy Box after all. Indeed, and yeah. he ushers you in. And yeah, those of you who haven't been here, yeah, Lobelia, especially you probably, are just like, mm-hmm. you, your mouth is watering at the sight of this place. Uh, if, you, if you wanted <laughs> to live in Bag End, it's just like, now you've got a new Zillow crush. New target. <laughs> um, <laughs> So he says, uh, so he sits you all down and um, just passes out some some bread and cheese. And he's just like, well, no, I've heard about this creature that uh, you've said that you've you ch- managed to chase off. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, I've heard that it's been troubling the buckland that somehow crossed the brandy wine. So it makes no sense to me. 
creature was only spotted last night, and I find it hard to believe the beast swam the length of the brandywine and back again to trouble the farmer maggot. And, uh, well, the beast uh, has, uh, has been taking livestock from Newbury, and just last night Rollo Boffin sounded the alarm, claiming he saw the beast on the edge of his property at Crick Hollow. He fears it's only a matter of time before the creature hurts someone. Now, uh, I have no right to tell any of you how to live your lives, even my children, but if you're going to stick your nose into this matter, you'd best be careful. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Prim doesn't really know how to, <laughs> to react to this. <laughs> Loquacious she... as always, my dear. Now <laughs> I know that you'll all probably want to get to bed. I have, I have some rooms... Uh, that are ready for you if you'd like us. Please, you oh. need to get some sleep if you mean to pursue this creature. Braddock, please help me. And he, he your father's like, he's very, he's pretty old and like he's right. very, very heavy. And so he, like he has a little bit of trouble like standing up. Braddock helps him and he <laughs> escorts you to, actually there's there's like your, your two rooms, like your, your rooms that you grew up in as kids, Rory and, and Prim. And then there are some like guest rooms like across across the way that are set up for you. Um, Dad? Yes, um, yes, my dear. Have you seen Drogo? Drogo Beggins? Oh, yes, yes, he's been asking about for you uh, quite a bit lately since you left. Right, um, and you, um, what has, what have you heard from our travels? I know you've heard that we chased off the, uh, the, the vile creature, but... Um, that's that's the extent of it, right? <laughs> well, I heard that you were thrown in prison, and I, of course, laughed off such an uh, such an uproariously absurd, absurd story. <laughs> yes, it's very My funny. My daughter what Prim they... <laughs> thrown in the lock holes. No, no, no. Oh, right, it's I'd hilarious. I'd sooner believe that the Witch King of Angmar had returned from his <laughs> exile. Yes, uh, yes, that, that's 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 true. Uh, you see, we might um, some of the people in my group might have been thrown into prison, but I was staying at the hotel upstairs during that time, oh, so I, I see. was not involved in that. Well, um, uh, you are the apple of my eye, my dear, and I will I will believe you if this is the story you wish to tell. It but, um, is. I'm just going to keep a close eye on the spoons, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, Braddock, I must get to bed myself. Please, um, uh, good night and uh, best, uh, good, have uh, a good sleep, all of you. And he just he, like gives you a little kiss on the cheek, yeah. and he cut with his stick. He just kind of like lumbers away down the hall into the dark. <laughs> um, and um, and her heart breaks when she realizes she's lying to her father. Yeah, lied to your father, uh... Master of Brandybuck Hall. So you all settle down, probably a little ill at ease, mm-hmm. given your experience recently. Um, about an hour before dawn, um, Saradas uh, comes into your, your rooms, uh, uh, Rory and Prim, and then he goes and wakes the others. This is, this is your, one of your other brothers. And he says, Prim, Rory, there's been another attack. Come on, come downstairs. Oh no, yes. Oh. Um. Do we get the others? Are the, are the others staying with us? I'm uh, assuming, they're, they're in different rooms, but you can rouse them. Let's rouse want. them yeah. on the way down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So you grab them and get dressed and everything, hustle downstairs. What's wrong? What's happening? What? Oh, I'm An- sorry. Another attack? Yeah. Steal yourselves! Yes, there's... Oh. Uh, well, uh, Rollo Boffin came running from Crick Hollow all the way here, and he's screaming that he'd seen the beast again. He can't be calmed. And like he's telling you this, and as you go into the parlor, um, you can see uh, Rollo Boffin. Those of you who would recognize him, probably just the Brandy Bucks. Uh, he's got like a quilt like thrown over his shoulders, and he's like his hands are shaking as he's like sipping on this cup of co- cup of hot tea. He's like, huh? You come into the room, and he like starts. <laughs> oh, what? I thought you were that beast for a moment, but no, no. Oh. Rollo, uh, we saw the beast as well. Will you tell us what it looked like to you? Oh, it is this horrible red, fiery eyes. Shh. The oh, yes, black as night one. burnt it was, stalking back and forth to the edge of our property. I, 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 I ran, I, I fled. I, I, I dared not face that thing. 
and so certain angles does it look like it only has three legs <laughs> yes yes <laughs> I thought for a moment that I had hope but then I realized it was just the my perspective and that it was there was a fourth <laughs> leg and I lost all hope and as he's telling the story you eventually realize that Gorbadoc is been, has been standing in the doorway behind you listening and he says and he's 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 uh, he's begging you to help him. Rollo's begging you to help him. Mm. Well, as well, yeah. As the as the one day master of Buckland, I am duty bound to to aid and assist all who live within my domain, uh, such honorary as it may be, and, and meaningly as the power may may end up uh, 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 benefiting me at the end of the day. I am I'm duty bound. So uh, let me show me where it is. In the light of day, we must. See this beast and look it right in the eyes. And your father, Gorbodoc, comes comes like waddling up and he says, Yes, Rory, my good boy. I fear you are right. This thing must be handled. I must keep the watchman here and it's only proper that you all investigate since you've encountered the creature and chased it off before. Aye, it was Prim that shot it. I, I think we bring Pim, Prim back out there or we'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, um, hello, Daddy. Yes, um, why not go? <laughs> Fire an arrow? Why? I had never dreamed. Uh, she's a crack shot with the ball. She's you must a know. poor young woman and she never engages in such tomfoolery, to my knowledge. <laughs> Exactly. Oh. Paladin is just a little bit confused. I think he meant Lobelia. <laughs> she was right, the one who's... Right, a bit too much to air last night, I'm afraid. Yes, that's see. mostly what it is. Yeah. You say that, that and Lobelia is just like looking at her sword that she recently polished just like 10 miles away because she's got eight hope left. <laughs> and you, she, she hears me. She's, like, she's dying inside. <laughs> she's dying inside. No, you taught me how to shoot an arrow. Don't you remember? <sighs> um, uh, Lobelia, <laughs> cute you are to this morning. Um, I, oh. I had a strategy, Dad. Perhaps we could trap this animal, um, or lure it, um, away from from this from our building. Do you think it has to be slain? Well, if it's such a thing as possible, I suppose so. I am reluctant to send you. My my darling jewel on such a perilous journey, but if what they say is true, you always did have a bit of a tookish side, did you not? Oh, I suppose I did I'm not, not surprised. Why yes, do you uh, say it like that? <laughs> yeah, no, I speak with love, total admiration. I've always admired the tookish spirit, and yes, my daughter has inherited a bit of it, it seems, uh, through, her, through her cousin's line. Well. <sighs> I suppose you should wait for dawn, but uh, once you do, I think you should head in the direction of the place that was seen last, and you can put your plan to good use. Uh, let me prepare some, some, some food, some snacks for the journey. And he goes and like he's uh, 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 Saradog is like helping him, and um, so he, they gather together like some, 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 some cake and some bread and some fruit, and uh, just the sun's coming up. You guys, you guys set off. Can I? <laughs> can I uh, grab a? Uh, is there like a sword inside of, of Brandy Hall that I could take? <laughs> Just because that's what I'm good at. I don't know yeah, if they yeah. have one, but yeah. What about yeah. me too? There's a sword, yeah, a sure. short sword I could take. Great. Yes. Like, well, yes, uh, there were some mm. dwarfish traders that were unable to uh, pay off a uh, debt, and they offered these in exchange of uh, cash payments. And yeah, he, he goes and grabs them from a, a chest, and he's just like, silly thing, still quite sharp of dwarfish make. Uh, um, nice. perhaps I shall uh, take another bow for for um, uh, bow for uh, for Labelia. In case oh yes, you should sense. take a bow if what the stories <laughs> are true, and you may Can take another bow as well should you need one. I will, I will, I will, I will use it wisely, and uh, and uh, perhaps the rest of you. Uh, and and she's suddenly realizing that okay we're killing this animal, so she's just like uh, perhaps wear some armor, <laughs> and. Uh, if that's a uh -huh. thing in this game, uh, and we should head out a shield, perhaps are there shields? It's a thing in the game, but not so much in the Shire. I'm sorry. 
Okay. <laughs> but uh, help yourself to the dwarves' swords and uh, your new bow, and uh, we'll. Uh, <laughs> I wish you. I wish you the best of luck. We'll lock things down here. We should be on the lookout. Goodbye, uh, my darling Buttercup, and you, my favorite son and heir. And he claps you both. He claps you, Rory, on your shoulders, and he kisses uh, Prim on her cheek again. And he says, it seems that you are in good company. Please protect my children. And I I assume, I am sure that they will do the same for you. Um, okay, so you head out? All right. Yes. Yeah, when we head out, uh, when we head out, Paladin is going to talk to Prim. He's going to mm-hmm. be like, why don't you want him to know that you're a good shot with a bow? Well, you see, there are certain expectations from me that doesn't align really with being a warrior queen. Like what? <laughs> like, like having, maintaining a house, being a good, proper woman, and a mother, and a, a lady of Brandybook, and, uh, well... Why can't you do that and shoot a bow? That's fair, I suppose. Oh, well. Hey, I think your father be proud of you. I think your father be proud of that shot. You drove that beast off all by yourself. You couldn't have done it without you. I just don't under- <gasps> I don't know what Drogo would say. That's all. I don't know what he would say about this. Uh. Oh, pfft. <laughs> Drogo. <laughs> He'd be jealous, that's all. Because you're a better shot than him. I saw him try once at the Green Dragon. Made a, made an ass of himself. <laughs> You'd show him up good. I like to see that. Oh, you're right. He is a terrible shot. <laughs> no, but it... You know, I'm... I don't know. I, I guess I have a very traditional sense of what, what's expected of me, and perhaps I'm wrong. I, uh... But I shall... I shall kill these beast, this beast, and we shall all feast tonight when it's dead. I shall eat its heart. <laughs> I shall eat its heart. Did you see it? I don't want to eat it. I saw it. <laughs> yeah, it does look, look like something's like wrong with it. Something, yeah. something's should, very wrong with it. You should eat its heart and gain its strength. <laughs> so, okay, so you all set off up north to Crick Hollow, where Rollo Boffin's land is. And as you get up from um, it's a little bit, it's an early morning walk it's a few miles away and then you get to the point you the two brandy bucks know where it is and you you get there and you don't see any damage to the house itself but as you look around like you it's you can quickly see you don't need to roll or anything like there are trampled flower beds as barks been ripped from like a couple of trees as if by animal claws there's some dead rabbits like half eaten lying around and you can see most disturbing of all these giant gouges in the rear door of Rollo's house look like giant like claw marks made them Ooh. So I was just gonna say yeah. a little scan action scan yeah. scan paladin's looking at end and Oh, fail. No. Fail. Okay. Mm, well. Mm. Oh, yeah. Good, good. Plus one, okay. six. Okay. Uh, okay, so, yeah, you see that there is a, a small trail leading toward the eastern end of the property that um, appears to dip and run right to the high hay itself. And th- the high hay is like this gigantic ancient hedge that shields Buckland from the old forest. Oh. Cool. So you can see this trail of light like, that's le- like leading off to it. Not even your walking stick can save you. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what you see. Hmm. Are we sure there's only one of these, by the way? Not to scare anybody. No, I don't Are think... We? I don't know that we... There's only one. We don't know. All right. Well, let's certainly <clears throat> hope there's only one. But if there's more than one, what are they doing here? What do they want with the Shire? 
I wonder if whatever Bilbo has been doing, it's been luring them here. It's been a lot of strange action going on from Bag End or, uh, ever since he went away. What if what it would be just like him? <laughs> it would be just like him to hide the fact that there's more than one. It would. Really? Uh, all right. So you follow the trail's edge then. Den. The hedge is, is a little far away, but yeah, you see this trail leading towards it. All right. Paladin will start walking down the trail towards it. Okay. Um, you can see that the path like dips very low as it goes on for some time. Um, and eventually, as you keep following it, you it reaches this brick-lined gap in the hedge. And you guys would, would know this. Like This is like one of the few entry points one of the few places where you can pass through the high hay into the old forest and though you know that like this is a sturdy this was once a sturdy barrier it's this iron gate in the middle of it it looks like it's been bent and twisted by some creature uh, trying to get past it uh, past it in or past it out uh, past it uh, away from you into the old forest oh Okay. Let's go into the old forest. I don't know that we should follow it in there. You know what they say about the old forest? What do they, what say? they say? They say the trees in there are come to life. If they're angry at you, they'll grab you up, strangle the life right out of you. What? They s- who say that? I don't know. I, I hear the stories. They say the trees could talk to each other even move (laughs) (laughs) oh this took stories Mm. how about you go first first, then Labelia maybe we can such a mean girl maybe we can lure it out of the woods well maybe it wants us to go in there or or maybe well it's daytime now right yeah it's daytime (laughs) Maybe, maybe, maybe not. it's not so scary at, at, during the day. Maybe the creature's hiding uh, and not as powerful, right? Yes, we That's should follow its track. <gasps> what if it's a mother and it has a bunch of cubs and we're just killing the mother and leaving the cubs to die? <laughs> Rory, where are you? Rory? <laughs> um, uh, I was uh, not vomiting in the shrubs uh, to fear. Um, I was... Coming to terms with my own responsibility, and if this is if this is not a problem that I deal with, someone else will have to deal with it. So let's go. Brother. And he walks straight into the forest. Yeah. No more talking. <gasps> That's my brother. Okay, there you go. There goes Rory. Do the rest of you follow? Yes. Yes. Look, look uh, after I, I run home. What? Okay. No. <laughs> no, I quit the adventure. <laughs> Thanks for Brady for call. He'll follow him into the old forest. Okay. <laughs> The old forest. Countless tales are told from Buckland to the White Downs about the strange affairs of this untamed wild. Told you. To your surprise, the forest itself does not immediately leap out and attack you as soon as you step past the bent iron gate and fully into the woods. Instead, a thin collection of trees, bent and gnarled, surrounds you just out of reach, their full branches not quite touching you. A wide path, barely visible from the gate, runs east and slightly to the north, over a low rise where you see a break in the trees. After a brief walk through moss-covered trees growing in countless shapes and sizes, you come to a wide, bare space where no trees grow. It forms a wide circle and the sun reaches down, unobscured by the thick canopy of reaching branches and wide leaves. Beyond this, the old forest grows thick and free. Trees, gnarled and twisted with great roots sticking up from the ground and dipping back down again, grow freely, and there is little in the way of the path the ground continues a slow ascent and the sense that you are an unwanted visitor and are being watched grows in your mind in this wild and twisted place it is clear that the burnt beast will have the advantage and your hunt will be most difficult hmm um yeah if anyone wants to would you like to know more you can give me a lore check oh lore I'll take a stab at it Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, favorite. 15 over 12. Okay. Great. 
Amazing. Oh, yeah. Also, I got a 12 and uh, a lot. I also okay. got a six. Oh, I don't great. Do math. Okay. Okay, cool. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> <not okay. laughs> all right, Esmeralda, this is not your specialty. This is not your spe- <laughs> specialized region. But yeah, a few of you know that the forest, the stories go that the, like, like uh, Paladin said, this, the forest is alive and actively dislikes visitors. And there are some that believe that the trees do will move to obstruct travelers with twisting roots and tangled branches. And especially you, the, the, the brandy bucks would know that long ago, some, some hobbits actually drove the old forest back. The wood was, was, was supposedly assaulting the high hay. They were actually attacking the wall between the old forest and the shire. The trees themselves were. And some brave, brave hobbits went through the hedge and with used fire to drive the forest back. And Lobelia, actually, you also know with that six that the old forest is also said to be the home of a wandering spirit that speaks to the trees and bends the beasts that live in it to their will. <gasps> <gasps> they say there's a spirit here who can bend the trees to their will and maybe the animals too, but I don't think I know how to find it or even if it truly exists. I just, I just heard of it. Oh, maybe maybe someone can summon it. Oh. Oh, Summon Esmeralda. Maybe. How? By just yelling into the woods for it? Well, similar to how (laughs) Rory talks to animals, maybe we can uh, do a riddle? (laughs) Do it. Everyone loves riddles. Maybe a riddle can summon it. Maybe we can, yes, exactly. Like, and do it like our friend. Our friend, Senor Elf, the one, I forget his name. Um, <laughs> Galdor of the Haven. <laughs> um, oh, by the like, way, Galdor of the Havens, what, he's in Lord of the Rings, too. Galdor. He's at the Council of Elrond. Amazing. So He, w- yeah. he would know how to speak to, to bring forth this spirit, I'm sure. Hey, Maybe but how are we going to find him? He was off on his own business. No, but we could channel him. We could channel his <laughs> behavior. We could see... Is it working? Try as you might, you cannot emulate the sing song (laughs) quality of the elf laugh. I feel like we were close, but You were pretty close, but but yeah. I feel like we didn't get a song roll. (laughs) That's true. (laughs) There's no laughter there's no laughter skill though. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so one of you uh, is meant to be the scout. Um, you will be making explore checks, trying to find your way through the forest. Okay, Paladin looks like he wants to do it. And then okay. in addition to that, we're going to need three total uh, successful hunting rolls. Oh. oh no. There you go, Rory. Okay. There's your hunt. Okay, so... Paladin takes the lead. Did you did you get a success? Uh, I haven't rolled yet, so okay. but I will do that now. Okay. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Uh, that is thirteen under fourteen. Okay, so we <sighs> failed. So each of your hunting checks are going to lose a die. They're going to lose a success die. Oh, oh man. Oh okay. So that, I've oh. never been this far in the old forest before. It's, it's, I, don't, I don't recognize it. It's okay. It's, it's all, okay. It's all right, Paladin. I still have... And he drops... He sheathes the dwarven short sword and pulls out his rabbit skinning knife. I still wait, have wait, my wait. knife. <laughs> wait, before... Wait. Uh, I'm sorry. I got it. I, I did get it. I'm sorry, oh. before you do, I literally, I forgot that I have my Explorer's Pack, and I, I get another D6, and I rolled a 1, so it got me the 1 okay, I needed. Okay, perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I got it, 14 out of 14. Okay, and you perfect. didn't get any 6s on your success dice? No, okay. no. So everyone Wait. just make normal uh, normal hunting checks. Anyone who wants okay. to give, make a hunting check. We have to, we need uh, three successes. I won't unless we oh. need to. I will try. Okay. Oh, I, okay. I got, I succeeded, and I got okay. a 6. Okay, so that's two successes. You only need one more. Yep. Come on. I succeeded as well. With nice. A- okay. Yes. 
Okay. 23. All right. So mm. you are able to follow the the tracks of this creature. You can see the like uh, bits of burnt fur like caught in like a branch. You can see like its footsteps, um, blood like maybe dripping from its slavering jowls. And you start to hear the sound of water. And the thick woodland uh, opens ever so slightly. This, this dark, this oppressive forest opens a little bit to reveal this great thorn thicket that is impossibly large and twisted. And from under the vines strangling the life out of the trees, it seems, you see that pair of burning eyes. Oh, God. As the burnt bee slithers forth from the darkness. Oh, my God. And an instant later, a chill runs down all of your spines as a second pair of eyes <gasps> appears in the darkness. Only a moment before another one of these horrid creatures <laughs> comes forth. It is not one of these shadowy predators prowling the old forest, but a fierce mated pair that has been cornered and driven to defend the bramble ridden thorn hedge they've taken as a home. They leap forward, prepare to finish you and your friends off now that there are no people of the Shire to hear your screams. Oh, God. What a tragic love story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a combat. Oh, my God. Yeah, we do. Oh, my goodness. What's the oh, initiative is melee, right? Initiative uh, is melee. And then yeah, it's like there's no, at least in the basic version there's no real it's whenever whatever the, the only thing you okay. guys all go first before they do and mm -hmm. the melee combatants go yeah melee combatants go before the ranged okay. uh, attackers um okay. so let's uh who what what who who wants to get into melee who wants to go first oh, okay uh paladin Rory. okay show okay uh let's have paladin go first Okay, uh, Paladin wielding this new sword, uh, this new <laughs> dwarven sword. Uh, I will run in and I will spend a point of hope, but he's getting low. Okay. He's getting low. Okay. Uh, but got to do it. Here we go. Trying to be brave for his sister. His little sister's there. He's going to charge in. <laughs> oh my God. I believe in you. Oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> my God, I cannot get this cooking. <laughs> so he, he, I rolled a two, two, one on the three d six, and I oh, failed no. by one. I failed by oh, one. Oh no! I don't God. know what the parry is, but I didn't even hit my strength. I missed it by one. Oh no! Okay. <sighs> and this is your okay, okay. So Paladin bravely charges in, but swings and misses. <laughs> And and I'm sorry, Rory. it is your strength plus their parry, right? That's right, the right. Yeah, yeah, the target mm -hmm. number. Okay. Uh, okay. Rory, what do you do? Rory sees Paladin's uh, newly minted sword not find purchase upon its target and thinks back to the strength of the elf he met earlier and says, For Gelder! And strikes out. He's going to use awesome. a hope point. The hope, very hope that was replenished by the cordial he had with that elf. Oh, okay. Um, so three die. That is going to be 17 total. Okay. And what's your target number? Uh, 14. Okay. That's a hit. Oh, nice. Great. And uh, you're attacking the original one or the mate? Um... I don't want to tag either of the other mates, but I'll tag the original one because what? it was... Okay. Uh, do you not want to tag the original one? No, I was going to say, you don't want to tag them because they're mates? Yeah, they're lovers, and we're in their... their... So what? <laughs> <laughs> they're, just, they're just defending their home territory. Uh, so I'll tag well, the... That is true. I'll that tag the true. original one hoping that it'll like at least disable him, and then maybe they'll have something else to worry about. Okay. Um, and then damage, It's a, if it's a sword, it's four damage, right? Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay, so ching! Like you're able to, your sword finds purchase in this thing's strange dark flesh. And it is... Uh, oh, who's who's doing uh, ranged, by the way? I'm going to do melee, I'm actually. Melee. Okay. I'm doing ranged. Okay, Lobelia is doing melee. I'm melee. And Esmeralda is doing melee. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, Lobelia, why don't you go? All right. 
So we're spending a hope. She's digging deep. Down to seven. Um, okay. Is there any way I can like manipulate using my keen eye to try to like hit it in the sweet spot? Um, not really. I think okay. you maybe like. I think there's a way in the advanced game to like use a battle check to do some mm -hmm. stuff like that. And there's other like different sort of skills you can use, uh, like once per combat, depending on what stance you take. But that's right. Well, above here we my go. My pay grade right now. <laughs> oh. No, two, 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 four. That definitely okay. doesn't equal more than 16. Okay, Lobelia swings the fancy sword and does not hit this time. <laughs> Esmeralda. Um, okay, well, um, Esmeralda, seeing all this go on, immediately, like, this, like, the Turkish fighting spirit that like, comes up from within her, yes. and she, like, takes off her glasses. <laughs> And she looks at her, her, her walking stick and she begins running toward the beast. And I actually have something called prowess, which means I get negative one taken off my target number for strength. Okay, Ooh. that's that's uh, baked into your numbers on the sheet there, so yeah. So it basically takes it, okay, cool, cool, yeah. that's cool. So yeah, she's running toward the animal and like, can I like, can she like literally pole vault? off the walking stick and then like you know those like those like fight moves when people like kick someone in like with both feet like flat like that oh, so yes. basically it's like it's like pole vault and it's like with both feet sure in the head absolutely okay okay so what Spend you do it. in that case is you would roll mm -hmm. one less success die than whatever your highest weapon proficiency is okay um, it's, and then we're gonna use one hope of course because Sure. She's feeling inspired by the yeah. Turkish walking stick yeah. and the Turkish fighting spirit. The Turk family walking sticks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is the, a Sauron. <gasps> oh, a seven. Okay. I'm a, Sauron. A three and a six. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, so Esmeralda tries yeah. to do this super sweet kung fu maneuver <laughs> and like Keelik from uh, Soul Calibur. The soul still burns. The soul still burns, but she goes flailing. Like she she misses the wolf entirely and like goes sprawling on the ground. Yep. Leaving yep. herself vulnerable, is she? It is now Primula's turn. Uh, uh, Esmeralda, no. And, but then she takes her bow and, and attacks the mate because I want to see what happens. If the okay. mate gets hit, because okay. what if it's pregnant? Okay. Okay. Um, and, <laughs> and yeah, here we go. Gross. And I'll use a hope. Hope. <laughs> Gross. Oh, that's a massive hit with one six. Oh. oh. Okay. Crush city. Crush and city. Remember, I'm sorry for this. Like you have to get your target number plus two for its parry. Yeah. So it was an eight, a five, a six, and a two. Awesome. Uh, Great. Yeah. I'm not doing math. Uh, are you attacking the original one or the mate? The mate. The mate. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, you hit it. Uh, what's your damage rating? And you have a success die to spend for additional damage if you want. Yeah, so s damage three plus four, then seven. Okay, seven more damage. Okay, cool. Damn. Wow. It's like, shunk, this arrow that finds its mark again, just brilliantly yeah. from Prim. Uh, <sighs> she is the, the bard of the bowman of your group. Okay, <laughs> now it is their turn. Oh, dear. Oh no. Right. Um, the mate leaps at Prim. <gasps> like oh. across, across, like over the heads of all the rest of you in melee, just it jumps over to her. Oh no. So did, you roll did we the break the Lord of, of the Rings? Is Frodo never born? Uh. <gasps> That is, that's a natural 10. Oh. Okay. So, and, uh, and I got a six on one of the six-sided oh, dice. Oh, my what? God. So, uh, Prim uh, is wounded. Oh, shit. Oh, no. You immediately go to zero, in, zero endurance, and you're unconscious. Prim! <gasps> <gasps> 
Sorry, could you explain the mechanics of the natural 10? Uh, is it just a high number, or is it uh, like the 10 means something? Yeah, if you get a 10, um, uh, yeah, the a 10 is, is, yeah, 10 is like 10 or Gandalf, or I have Sauron if they're evil, is an automatic wound. Um, oh, unless oh, you have yeah. armor, then you have a chance to fend it off, but you guys don't have any armor. I thought 12, 12 was Gandalf. 10, yeah, no, 10 or Gandalf. Oh. Or, or I have some. Okay. still high. And like, Wait, if I, thought you get was, a, I thought it was 11. No, 11 no, is 11, 11. 11 is the I have Sauron. Oh, right, right, right. On, on our dice. So, and then if you get a six, you could spend that to get an extra plus two on your feet die. So if you get it up to 10, yeah. you can, you can, you can get a, a wound, like a wounding blow. Got That's it. That's good to remember. Um, and I might be doing this wrong, but this is the, Early yeah, yeah, this, no. is, this, this is my understanding. Of it. I'm yeah, happy. It to, I'm um, happy to see Prim go down. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. And then the original <laughs> beast. Oh, who is he going to go after? Oh no. Oh, oh, God. Oh, this is brutal. It just slits her throat. You know, he goes, she's just lying there. <laughs> he goes after Paladin. Oh no! Paladin. <laughs> uh. Joe, okay. that's you. Uh, sorry, sorry. I'm going to save you, Prim. Prim, you're fine. You're fine. When okay. you are wounded, you check the wounded box. Oh, right. Okay. Yes. You then yes, recover you don't go down. endurance slowly. If you're wounded right. a second time. That's when you are dying. You go to zero. Yeah. Right. All right. Okay. So oh, wow. you're wounded once. You're okay right now. Okay. 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 okay All right. Okay. So coming after Paladin, who, by the way, is nimble. Nice. And has an yes. unusually high parry. Yes. Bring it. Bring it. Okay. Bring it. Uh, all right. <laughs> yes. He's That's a 17. Sense. That's a 17. It's exactly my parry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, you take five damage from your endurance as it like oh. slashes against you with these enormous claws. Okay. I had 23. Mm -hmm. To just give people a perspective. Had 23 okay. down to 18. <laughs> okay. All right. <sighs> new, new round. It is uh, Paladin's turn. Uh, it, ah, it takes a bite out of him, and uh, I don't know what else to do except just try to uh, to fend him off. So I'll try to get a uh, like a yeah a six on the die here and fend him off. Okay. Uh, he will stab away. Oh, I'm losing my heart in this combat. <laughs> uh, I'll stab away with the sword, and of course, my life on the line here. I'm going to spend hope. Okay. Uh, he's down to five hope. So, yeah, he's desperate right now. He's feeling it. Okay. Uh, here we go. Come on, dude. Come on. Well, I rolled a natural 10. Does that mean anything to me? Uh, yes. Player? Yes. All right, so I rolled yes. a 10. And then my total adjusted is uh, 18. My strength is 15. So it was only... So that should, that's a hit. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's... Did, so did you get any sixes? I didn't. Okay. So you can, uh, you have to, with a, you're, what are you using? You're using a... A sword. A sword. Okay. So I think you need two sixes to buy a piercing blow with a sword, which yes, would allow right. you to give it the, the wounded condition. Mm -hmm. Now, right. okay. So you just do your normal, your I base damage. Uh, all right. So base damage is four. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So uh, he connects, Rory. draws blood. Connects, yes, draws blood. <laughs> Again, this stark, strange I-core that, move, that uh, falls from its body. Uh, Rory's turn. Okay. It's crazy, dude. These hobbits are fighting monsters in the old forest. Come yeah. on, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rory's old gaffer could see me now. Rory's Rory character old description God. says that he is always ready to defend his sister, so I think it would only be right that he would rush over to the mate that left at his sister can i move an attack in a turn like that is that something yes. with a yeah normal? yeah okay yeah uh going to spend a hope running real low on hope but still got it come on baby oh no oh no, no. i don't know if i'll make it or not um uh -oh. 14 under 15 oh he no another miss Oh, and he's just standing Rory. across from the mated pair and just growling over his or next to his sister who's still up yeah. and just get away his from his mated pair. Yeah, get away from my mate. You 
anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My beloved. <laughs> My beloved. <laughs> no. I wasn't keen to the idea at first, but I've changed. Damn it. I've, she, no. she won me over. I... Oh uh, okay, it is Lobelia's turn. It used to be a joke once, but now <laughs> my heart doesn't see it that we way. I kept joking, now I feel it. Um, she's going to stab out at the original one again and use another hope because okay. it's really hard to do it without it for her. It is. Uh, so 112, three pips. Come on. Your fancy Let's sword. Go. My fancy sword. Decorative sword. Not bad. Okay. So I've got one six. So it's 13, 14, 15, 16. 17 over 16. Uh, okay. And that's with plus two from the parry? Or is, is, is 14 your target number or is 16 your target oh, number? Oh, 16 is my target number and okay. I got 17. Okay. So that's a miss. Oh, no. <laughs> Unfortunately, oh. that is another miss. Uh, Esmeralda, can you save the day here? Oh my gosh, Esmeralda, so Esmeralda like tumbled and you guys just watched her when she did her turn like fall and almost hit the wall and her stick was just like clackety 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 on the ground. Yeah, she ate shit. <laughs> she ate shit. Is <laughs> that in the rule book? <laughs> yes, that's, that's a technical <laughs> term from the rule book. For putting it that eat way, shit condition. <laughs> <laughs> she sort of picks herself up. And she moves her hair out of her eyes and she sees like her brother flying and everybody tripping and falling. And she reaches toward her stick and she just like, since the beast is facing in the other direction, right? The original one. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> she goes, and just oh. rakes the stick across the ground so like it will trip him up almost. Like if he was okay. playing hopscotch, but didn't know he's playing hopscotch. <laughs> okay. you know what I, mean? ah, I love it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So let's see. Okay. I'm gonna use a hope, of course. Come on, come on, it's Ryan. come on! Oh boy, a five and a six for the feed dice. So it's yeah, eleven so far. Eleven okay. so far, I guess. Whatever. No, no. I got a okay. six. So wait, do I okay. add these two feed dice or no? I just pick uh, one. No, no. You just pick the better of the two. Yeah. So I'll pick. No, pick the six. I just want to make sure, just in case you want to be nice okay. to me and give me another, but that's sure. fine. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to be nice to you, believe me. Six. Hey, six with six. Twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen. Oh, I, I did hit my target. I just hit my target number. Just hit it. Okay. Oh. It's still too short with its parry. So, unfortunately, oh, that's, that's another. Right, it, that's right. Its rear two. legs, like, hop over your stick as you swing it, like, past it, trying to trip it up. <gasps> Uh, but but hold on, I think we might have good news for the hobbits. Uh, okay. On my reading here, Skid, uh -huh. I still think mine pierces. I think the okay. pierce you need two successes on a sword if you don't roll a ten. But oh, if you okay. roll okay. a ten okay. or the Gandalf, it's automatically a piercing blow. Okay. And then you roll the protection roll. Right. Okay. Uh, so it and does it's have against the swords. The wound, uh, injury the, uh, rating. The injury rating. What is the injury rating? Sixteen. Okay. So you have to hit a 16 with their whatever, and with if you fail, armor they take a wound. Yeah. Uh, okay, I fail. Yes! So, okay. So it is wounded. It is wounded. Deep. Yeah, you can see it's, oh, it's like staggered back, and it is badly hurt, but it is still functional. Oh, this is a badass monster then. Okay, yes. it is uh, Prim's turn. Uh, Prim, I, so, which one is wounded, badly wounded, and which one attacked me? Or is it uh, the same? That was the, the, the main one, right? Mm -hmm. The main Paladin? one. Paladin? Yes. Uh, you, the, that's when you yes, attacked? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, the one, mm -hmm. yeah. The other okay. one's fine. Okay, and so the mate is still that I still, still injured. Still pretty, yeah. still injured, but but totally fine. Okay. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> do I get the sense that the main one is the leader? Like, you take out the leader first, right? Uh, I mean, it's, it'd be hard to tell that they were any different. Okay. It's just that, that, yeah. All right, then I'll just... Then I'm... I'm, I'm uh, okay, Prim is going to say, uh, Get him off me! Get him off me! Uh, and then she aims for the mate again, just because okay. that one hasn't mm -hmm. gotten uh, any hits yet. So, and okay. I'm going to spend another hope. Whoa! Okay. Um, yes. Come on. Ooh, um, I think another six, and then... Uh, yeah, that's that's uh, uh, fourteen is my is my target number plus two okay. sixteen. But yeah, I I got mm. four uh, 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 eighteen. 
Okay, okay. Any sixes? I want a six. Okay, all right. So that is a... That's a piercing blow. Um, so... Seven oh, points wait. of damage. Oh, what did you roll on the feet die? Sorry. Uh, so seven, four, three, uh, six. Okay, that's not a piercing blow, but it's, it's a hit. Okay, so... Okay. Um, and it's... it's What's your, your... Three is your damage rating on that thing? Yeah. Okay, so thunk, like another arrow, thunk, sinks into its flesh. Mm-hmm. And... Sorry. All right, these things turn on you again. <laughs> uh, the one... The mate that attacked you uh, before Prim um, again attacks you in your wounded condition. Uh, ooh. Uh, that is a 16. No. Uh, oh, yeah. no. Is that's, that enough? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. That is another five points of endurance down. I mean, it's exactly, my parry is 16. I must, that's exactly yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, so I just gonna ask you. Wait, does uh, that mean I'm oh, down? Oh, the now? damage that you're doing, Skid, you did five damage to me, you're doing five, that's, yeah. is that static on the creature? It's like, yeah, if they do damage, they get, it's like, five. Yeah, an, an extraordinary cool. blow. Oh, wait, oh no, we rolled a six. Uh, so that's 10 damage. Joe! Oh, I didn't why did you bring do up that? the six part. <laughs> I didn't bring up the six part. I was just asking about the damage number. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Right. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for helping me there. Anything to, anything to help, Skid. All right. So Prim is in bad shape. Like, Prim is, like, in real danger here. Yeah, I'm right. wounded. I'm wounded, wounded and... Okay. Um, and... Fading fast. There, uh, the other one oh, no. is goes after Rory. <gasps> oh God! Swings around wildly. Uh, and that is a fifteen. Rory definitely parries out of the way. Oh, okay. nice side. <laughs> nice Rory okay. Mac. Nice. So these things are they're. Look at Kate throwing punches. Right I mean, she yeah. loves yeah. hands at these Have you been down at the fighter gym in Brooklyn? I, uh, I'm like a boxer right now. How did you know? Shadow okay. boxing. <laughs> so these things are very dangerous. Like even during the day, like you can only imagine what this would be like if you're fighting them in the dark, but these things are dangerous enough, and you are genuinely afraid that at least Primula might die. And then you hear a strange sound coming out of the forest. You hear singing? Hey, oh, silly, oh, a tramp across the forest. Little creatures underfoot, black dogs are the sorest. Go now, silly dogs, cast away your ire. Hobbits only hope to help, no need to be so dire. We're in here! Oh, wait. You see... <laughs> <laughs> you see these, at the sound of this voice, these beasts draw back from you immediately, <gasps> looking towards the sound. And dancing as though at a spring festival, you see a wanderer merrily <gasps> skipping about in yellow boots. Yes. Taller than a hobbit, though not quite as tall as a man. His face sports a careful smile, and he sweeps off his great floppy hat with a bow to you, and then oh again to the God. two beasts. Rising again, replacing his hat, and straightening his blue jacket, he speaks in a kind of sing-song rhyme. Old Tom Bombadil is a merry fellow. <laughs> Bright blue his jacket is, and his boots are yellow. None has ever caught him yet, for Tom he is the master. His songs are stronger songs, and his feet are faster. Amazing. <laughs> yeah! And these creatures, little Bombadil love. <laughs> Finally. These creatures turn tail and take off. Amazing. In total terror. Do we get an opportunity attack here? Just kidding. Yeah. yeah. I want to say, I, can I finish off the mate? 
<laughs> this Prim, Prim really wants to drink its blood, and I'm just trying to. Yeah, you, you're sanding that. <laughs> so, hey, oh, such little hobbits in such a big place. It seems you are the worse for wear. Come now with Tom, for Tom is the master here, and no need to fear. Come back to Tom's. We will find you refreshments for Goldberry waits, and I have flowers waiting. And he pulls out some river lilies from behind his back. Oh, amazing. He says, come, follow, hey, you are there at all, and starts, like, dancing off into the forest. Do amazing. Yes. yes. Okay. Does Primula need a blood transfusion? What's going yes. on? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, so. take me, take me with the jolly little man. <laughs> How many endurance points do you have left? Um, I think, uh, so you'd make, like, I, uh, I think four. How many, okay. how much damage okay. did you did last, uh, uh first 15 blow? total, so yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, 15 total? Then yeah. I have, then I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Um, then I'm, okay. I'm killing. Uh, well, I also, there was, uh, five, well, it's five more because he actually got a heavy blow the first time before, so it was 20. Yeah, okay, then I have four. Four okay. endurance points left. Wow. <laughs> okay, so you're kind of like, she's leaning on uh, maybe her brother as like you walk through the forest and like you can see like Tom just like prancing and like hopping. You've never seen anyone happier to be themselves. Yeah. <laughs> and I have so many theories on this man, <laughs> but I don't know. So you finally... As you for another stream. And yeah. the, the trees like seem to, they, you, you swear to God, they're almost like parting in front of Tom. As and it's like they the, the way they like seem to encroach on the rest of you, almost impeding your passage deliberately. They they refuse to do it now, and he's just like hopping through the trees, like singing to them. And you approach his home. It's this little like uh, little homely house, um, surrounded by little manicured gardens. And uh, he he bring he lets you in, and you sit down to this lovely little country home. And he sits you down and like pours you a draft. And um, and you drink it, and you anyone who was wounded, you automatically get uh, five uh, endurance back. Yeesh. And um, yes, I'm thinking uh, Primula probably has like a nasty scar on her on her neck, and she's just like, oh god, um, can is there a way for you to cover this, cover this up? Mm. Don't cover it, Primula. That's a badge of honor. Wear it at your wedding. Low right. cut dress. Show it off. Do you think Drogo <laughs> would like that? I'm sure he's into that. He looks like that kind of guy. I agree. Don't he's kink a shame. Weird. He's a little creep, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, but seriously. But she's, she's like, huh, maybe I shall. Maybe I shall change the way I look at things after this. Maybe I should be proud of being the only one who could hit those monsters. That is a nasty oh. scratch, Wait, my it? dear, and you are brave like indeed. <laughs> 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 so, Why yeah, so he sits... Like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, you, uh, he sits you all down, and um, he, you know, pours drinks for everybody, and he... You just kind of hang out with Tom, uh, like, for a few hours. You kind of lose Amazing. track of time. And he tells you, so it's like, I, these beasts that you chased into the old forest, into Tom's old forest, I know their true nature. They were once hounds owned by a lord of men residing long ago in a tower of stone which rose among the hills. And you know that he's talking about the Barrow Downs. Yep. Mm. Yep. Ah. Um, uh, beyond the old forest. In a time of terrible war, the Lord perished among the flames and his faithful hounds with him. Then evil spirits descended upon this land, and many years later the hounds returned as dark reflections of once they, what's, what they once were. They are terrible creatures, and yet they are not entirely evil. Something of their faithful nature remains, and they seldom attempt to kill. But the malice is growing year after year. The ill will of the old forest itself is slowly taking over. Can it be that something can be done to remind them of what it means to be steadfast and true? Can they be given peace? Perhaps, if you are willing to help them find their way back to being fine companion hounds, they could be released from their wretched state. 
Are Marie? you willing to do this? I willing, but I don't know how. Oh, well, the willing is half the better than knowing how, Tom can tell you. They must be given proper names again, and if you will give them such names, the true and loyal nature of their hearts can perhaps be restored, perhaps with the help of one of my songs. Tom doesn't fear the hounds, and the hounds love leave Tom be, my Marys. Listen to old Tom's songs and sing them back, recalling hearth and home. Gentle voices and kind souls will cast away the doom. And uh, he teaches you a couple of his songs. Awesome. Um, and he teaches you his, uh, uh, yeah. And so basically he says, he tells you to go back, give them true names and <laughs> sing these songs to them. And so we're going to need you to think of two names and oh, to make three successful song checks. <laughs> what? We should name one of them Bilbo Baggins. We name a okay. dog? That's actually, whoa. <laughs> he okay. sent us on this quest. That's mm. true. It's only fair. Who else should we name it after? Oh. Um, so Bilbo hmm. Baggins. And That's a good so name. We name one Ballin, Ballin, uh, Ballin, uh, Fundin. Um, it's on a yeah. It's like, it's Bilbo like we're and ma- Balin. We're making Bilbo and Balin. Balin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very okay. good, Balin. You pooped in the living room again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, and then he says, um, he's just like, oh, I must off. And so he teaches you these songs. He says, that now I must off to bed. For Goldberry is waiting, and she will need to see her Tom in a way that is great. I can't think of a rhyme. So he goes to bed. Oh. <laughs> uh, the rest of you go to bed. He's with these beautiful, like, very comfortable mattresses. And um, you feel safe for the first time uh, since since your night with Galdor. And you awake in the morning, and you see this, this beautiful, but impossibly beautiful, but also just like, sort of earthy, blonde woman. Um, kind of like putting together... Uh, food for you like honey and, and berries and and everything and she says ah you are friends of Tom's he has told me about you please eat before you go it will help and uh, do you eat don't have to ask me one or once <laughs> <laughs> hey thank uh, you and what is your name I am Goldberry some call me <laughs> oh I, I am Tom's. And um, yeah, you guys eat the berries and the, this honey is delicious. And mm-hmm. uh, Prim, your wounded condition is gone. The rest of your endurance, all your endurances are back to normal. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, Good. Okay. And she says, uh, t- uh, Tom, uh, Tom told me of your plight. I hope you can accomplish this. I hope you can sing like Tom does. Goodbye. Uh-huh. And Good you guys, cool. you guys head out. Go yeah. back to the bramble. Um, okay, and you approach the den, and you can hear the growling of these creatures, like they're sitting in there, wounded. Um, so who's going to try to sing? We should all Rory? sing. Do you have to roll a song <laughs> roll? I. Oh. You have to roll a song roll. I oh. could do it. I'd l- I. <clears throat> I could do it. All right, you can do it. You can do it. Esmeralda, what's that supposed to mean? (laughs) (laughs) She's like, oh god. No. (laughs) Can he do it? We we can give you a beat. Boom, 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 and okay. oh, Mary Dole, he's quite a fine fellow. <laughs> hey, there you go. That's good. All right. <laughs> did you did you succeed at this at this at the song? Uh, check? I didn't. Okay. Oh my god! All right, so, your dice. Wh- you need why to put why is song a strength <laughs> skill? 
Right? <laughs> it's it's your body. It's like yeah. it's coming out of your body. Why I is it try, not I, heart? I, I yeah, would have passed yeah, if it was heart. Case for heart, yeah. Can I so. try as well, or should we all try? Who, everyone, the Rory has Anyone to Anyone wants to try it. Anyone wants yeah. to try it. Okay. Uh, I'll do it. To try. I'm using hope. Okay. I'm using uh, a hope. Oh, so oh, Paladin yes, Sings good idea. doesn't impress them. Okay. Okay. I also I also succeeded with a six. And actually, wow. Esmeralda, I'll say that Eleven. you're inspired with your with your Mary feature. Uh, I, I would give you that. You emulate Tom. You can em- emulate Tom. I got an eight total, and I used hope, so I'm okay. sixteen. Not and good. I rolled a six. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. All mm-hmm. right. So that's two successes. Rory scored uh, eighteen, but he got a uh, critical ten on there. So it's, the song does piercing damage to the dog. And okay. Kills it. All right. <laughs> yeah. So you pierce wow. their cold black hearts, and do you you say their names? Do you give them their true names? Bilbo what are their names? Alan. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Good game. Um, all right. So as as the song, as you sing Tom's song at them, uh, I have it here. Uh, oh, Tom Bombadil, Tom Bombadil, oh, by water, wood, and hill, by the reed and willow, by fire, sun, and moon, hearken now and hear us. Come, Tom Bombadil, for our need is near us. Oh. And you give them their names. And you can see these two animals come out of their of their lair, and the ashen features that they had are they they're fading away even as they enter the sunlight. Aww. The eyes Aww. brighten from a fiery red to a gentle color, and all of a sudden they're like joyful, happy, giant puppy dogs. Again. Oh, 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 oh. And yeah, they're like oh, hopping so around and like <laughs> and and they just start chasing each other. And they just oh. run off like into the old forest. Oh, amaze! Prim wanted to kill them so bad. <laughs> yeah, he's like, we almost well. ate them. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there goes our dinner. Yeah. Okay. So you guys sing so uh, good. Amazing. You guys sing so well. That's so sweet. Uh, yeah. Do you guys? Do you guys head back to uh, Farmer Maggots? Yeah. Yeah. I- yeah. We'll let them know. You've got nothing to worry about no more. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or actually, you should probably stop at uh, Brandy Buck Hall before you go back. Yes. Okay. So as you walk, you get back out of the old forest. The forest has a completely different feel. Like you, you felt like again, like the trees were closing in on you before. Now it's just like they seem to be like very politely getting out of your way. Oh. As you walk through, and you go back to the high hay through the hedge, and you get back down to Brandy Hall. And you share your story, and your father says, Oh my goodness, I can't believe you met the forest spirit. Oh, this is like Princess Mononoke or something. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> the story will be told for longer. So I'm not sure I believe. And so people aren't sure if they believe you. It's just like, yeah, whatever. But it's just like they 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 believe that like this creature has been handled. And so there, there's a lot of a night of feasting and merriment is your reward. And the next day, um, you head back to Farmer Maggot's house, and um, you get there uh, just in time for dinner. And oh, perfect. He is uh, when as you as you approach, he's intently rebuilding his chicken coop. And oh. as you as you reach him, like do you, do you greet him? Do you like yell out? Um, yeah. Maggot. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maggot, no, we smack him with his stick. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, so he turns around, and at that moment, the two dogs come bounding out of the forest and running right at him. Oh, oh. no. And they both, like, at first he's just, like, wielding his, like, shovel uh, or, or his, like, his hammer, like, to try to, like, fend them off. But they tackle him. Ah. And they just start licking his face oh. and, like, playing with him. He's just, ah, get off me, you beast. And then he's just like, uh uh-huh, And he starts laughing. Aww. And he starts petting and playing with them, and after a while, you guys come up and they join in, and they're just like, you, they're just, they're just beside themselves with with joy. And uh, he finally, finally brings them to heel, and like, come on, come on, come on. He like brings them into the dinner table, and uh, he asks, uh, it's like, uh, if these beasts have names. Well, Me that's, too. that's Bilbo. <laughs> Bilbo. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was Labelia's idea. Oh. What? And Bilbo's there, and he says, like, uh, (laughs) yes, he looks like you. 
<laughs> it's a fine name. It suits him. <laughs> what about the other one? Premier. No, we didn't mean Primula. We named. I was asking Primula. <laughs> oh, named him after himself. Yeah, did you? I was like, <gasps> well, it's a bit odd. You took, I guess, but or brandy box. Um, so you named him Balin. Balin. Yes. Uh, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> and as you do so, you realize that like these dogs, like they they gravitated right to the farmer like they sought him out and the friendliness it feels like a gift from Tom oh mm. do they know each other it's strange to think mm. and over a hearty home cooked meal maggot says that he was never one to keep beasts around but the dogs seem pretty fond of him and they might make fine breeding stock for years to come what and if any fierceness remains in their hearts they'll be fine protectors for my family I thank you for your aid, and uh, please, I'd love for you to stay the night along with Bilbo. Please. We'd be honored. Thank We'd you. We'd love that. And you do. And in the morning, Bilbo declares, "Well, I have. You've had a wonderful little adventure, and I think I have enough proper research has been gathered for my book. <sighs> I thank you all for your involvement, and I promise you." You will all be invited to the next great party I throw. Even you, Lobelia. And in fact, every party to come. Yeah, I better be invited. Do you know how much hope <laughs> I lost? I know. Yes, you Ugh. spent a lot of it. It will take some time to get it back. Oh, you got some. You got uh, two hope points back, too, at Tom's. Yay, oh, yeah. that's awesome. That makes Good sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And as time goes on, Bilbo becomes mm. more reclusive, and the rest of you return to your lives. Gossip regarding your mischief fades away, even of your criminal past. <laughs> and life once again returns to normal in the Shire. For a few years, at least. And that is the end of the One <laughs> Ring. <laughs> New game, who did? Good job, everyone. Thank you guys so much. You know I read a little that long. That was awesome. I'm so glad we got to the end of that. I, I really like this. This was really cool. Getting to meet Tom Bombadil. Oh, like, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't uh, resist. Well, and what a lovely story for the, the hounds and everything, too. Like, And all the yeah. animal themes that were like carried yeah, throughout yeah and know? it really is like you like being kind like there are other different like really more awful things that can happen to you if you aren't kind to the animals yeah. along the way and actually tom shows up three rounds earlier than he would have otherwise for each incident in which you were kind of animals <laughs> Jeez. Wow, that's really so, cool. Yeah, if you wow. had, if you've been cruel or hadn't done been nice to the squirrels or whatever, like he would have showed up later, and one of you you know, could have been bad. But uh, yeah, that is so pure. Cool. Wow, we're so, so pure of heart. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah man, I love it. I think it's so interesting just to think of like how fun it was, but also how <laughs> I don't think I've ever played. I mean, what do we play? Eight or nine hours? of a role-playing game where like a decent amount of it, I had an ax or a sword and I didn't kill anything. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> died, yeah. like in this whole thing. <laughs> and you're not, you know, cause you're not supposed to just go around killing everything. Right. Sometimes mm -hmm. right. you're supposed to do good things in the world. And so yeah. yeah, it was nice. Yeah, and things can change in the wider world. Darkness is approaching to Middle Earth. Will we see more of it? I don't know, maybe, maybe someday. But in any case, I'm very, very happy. Thank you again to our friends at Free League uh, for this amazing, amazing book. It's, I think it's available now, PDF at least is available now. Uh, pick it up. You won't be disappointed. I love it so much. I think this game system is great. We barely scratched the surface mm -hmm. of it. There's way more there. And... Um, yeah, there's a and lot, that's, yeah, there's a lot yeah. of darkness in it too. Like there's yeah, a yeah, like, definitely. Um, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, that's this, that's what I want to do next. It's explore yes, that. Shadow. Yeah, me too. Yeah, this. Oh, and actually, one thing that you <laughs> missed in in the I was I was gonna say this is like the training wheels adventure. One thing that you missed in the Matham House was mm -hmm. bicycles. That's that there's some oh, velocipedes in the Matham it. House. <laughs> so you could have stolen Man. them, and when you would have gotten a bonus side all your travel checks, but it's. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. This is cool. Dang it. Uh, but congratulations <laughs> to all the winners. Thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you guys for playing. You guys were amazing. Thank you, Skid. And um, can't awesome. wait to play with you guys again. And, uh, and yeah, and, and Happy New Year. As, and as Happy New Year. As we down New Game yes. of Years for 2021. And look forward to next year. Lots of good stuff coming. It's going to yes. be great. Thank you all goodbye for supporting forever. us. We'll have more in the future. <laughs> goodbye. No, yeah. goodbye for now. Bye.
Goodbye yeah. for, now. for now. Getting Wait deported. I'll one. see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, folks. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye. Bye.